Hey, stupid. I have depression. You dumb fuck. I actually have it. I know what it feels like. Alright? So, if you disappeared today, no one would care. I have depression. I know what it feels like. I actually have it. Dumb fuck. I know what it feels like. Fat fuck. Slow day all day. I'm depressed. Record low views. Thumbs down. I'm depressed. I have depression. I have depression. Will Taylor drinking and I'm thinking, but I have this nagging in the back of my head that's telling me you're a loser. You have no power over anyone on this planet. You're the epitome of a waste of life. Hey, stupid. I have depression. I know what it feels like. I actually have it. I know what it feels like. Slow day, all day. I'm depressed. Record low views. Thumbs down. I'm depressed. I have depression. I have depression. I have depression. one bitches mark my fucking words i'm coming for you you are fucked and you are dumb i'm coming for you coming for you i'm coming for you sound good coming for you fair enough coming for you all right please talk about boys so I'm looking, please talk about punk ass bitch. I'm looking, 30, 40, 50, sissified boys from the bottom. 30, 40, 50 ass busters. Ain't no clap back videos. Why? What is it that serious? But I need boys. Please, the creator. Bless me, but I need boys. Please allow my boy sperms to go fast and shoot fast enough. Go fast enough. Please, please, the creator, please bless me. Meerkat Mob. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Blood, shit, and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. They all so dumb. 30, 40, 50, punk ass. I'm the one. You are dumb. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. 30, 40, 50, punk ass. Coming for you. Coming for you. There may be some gunfire. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys. Coming for you.
Welfare check is early this month Looking to chill, interact and have fun Open up my YouTube page the challenge is And I is. see her melting face Dog. And when I hear you burn I'm the only dent on earth This is so meaningful to me Meerkat Mall. Who? Yeah, you're hurting back Your greasy hair Your patchy goatee It's meaningful to me Yeah, it's meaningful to me Your shitty playthroughs are all I need I know you killed you, but you're meaningful to me Yeah, you're meaningful to me Yeah, you don't work just like my legs Fuck the stupid troll saying that you beg You're not the same guy you were yesterday Here's a hundred fifty for the vest today Please. It's time for a silly bubble blow Or I'm gonna close the tab and go Baller alert What's your favorite type of food? And can you read my haiku? <laughs> your hurting back Your greasy hair Your patchy goatee it's meaningful to me, yeah It's meaningful to me, yeah Yeah, your shitty playthroughs are all I need I know you killed you, but you're meaningful to me, yeah You're meaningful to me, yeah You're hurting back your greasy hair, your patchy goatee is meaningful to me. Yeah, it's meaningful to me. Yeah, yeah. Your shitty playthroughs are all I need. I know you killed you, but you're meaningful to me. Yeah, you're meaningful to me. I'm not here to tell the tell the tell I'm not here to get shout out. It's just me and my gang. AG, Almighty Head Gang. What up? What up? Baller alert. Yeah, I got my pants on me. I ain't trying to tip right now. I'm trying to tip right now. And if I'm not being me, I got a sock right now. I got a sock right now. I just don't use these on sight. If I turn on the stream right now, on a straight. Me and Ed Gang, we both got free thing right now. Gang. Yeah, I got my bits on me. I ain't tryna tip right now. I ain't tryna tip right now. And if I'm my band me, I got a sock right now. And on the side. Yo, you was leaving on site. If I turn on the stream right now, on the stream right now. Me and Ed Gang, we bump. Y'all free throwing right now. Y'all free throwing right now. I talk tips. I don't know what y'all cheer about. I don't know what y'all cheer about. Matter of fact, as we stream, I'm counting tips right now. Counting tips right now. If a nigga play with my channel, he can get banned right now. He can get banned right now. Team no troll, so you know I got the motherfucking mods right now. Mods, mods. Watch this. Yo, people follow my dick like they tryna sub right now. Tryna sub right now. Said they gon' give some silver. Said I couldn't go and clock out. You need to get out. They sent me tips on the home, cause you was checking on the accounts. Checking all the accounts. While you was with no subs, I was checking on my mouth. I was just count the egg, dang, bitch. You know. We got mouth, we got clout. I go crazy with the troll until they learn man all my necks. So it up on streams to see what they about. Baller what, alert. What is follower only mode? So I had to change my route. Ow. I got 17 socks on the couch right now. Socks on the couch right now. And 500 bits from ads right now. Bits from ads. I got whispers all on my main. How you doing? People know I'm safe even when I'm not around. Yeah, I got my dicks on me. I ain't tryna tip right now. I ain't tryna tip right now. And if I'm my band me, I got a sock right now. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Maybe he's even on the side of the turn on the screen right now. Introducing the Chocolate Stoppers! Mirkhead Mob. Who? Hello? Is this thing on? Yes, it's on! Welcome everybody. Uh, it's uh, another stream. This one is a little bit earlier than usual because we have a lot to recap. There's so much stupid shit that I haven't even heard about. Okay, at least most of it I heard about. I saw it on, on Twitter, uh, also known as the X app. Uh, but today we're actually going to watch the clips uh, in Silky Smooth 720p because uh, it's a retrospective stream, okay? It's it's for the last couple of days. The uh, last, like, five days uh, I haven't been streaming, you know? So, it, in a way, it's curated. It's designed for you to like it. Your Monday team divorce update. Hold strong, chat. The boyfriend will try to lure you away with delusions of granddaughter. Oh, you, you know time. I will. Ignore satanic persuasions and trust the process. Even artistic people will eventually leave Philip. I'm drinking. I, I'm drinking too. I'm, 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 I'm drinking. Uh, so yes, speaking of uh, the divorce update, uh, there is none. Because it, it's, it's fake. So uh, now you have the ability to actually <laughs> get a load of this. You can actually buy coins with fake, you know, made up money. Based on which team you believe in, in which cause you believe in, in which plotline you, you think is going to develop or is developing. You actually can do that. Think about how insane this is. Uh, so you can go to the snortexchange.com and join the fun. This is, uh, yeah, this we're, we're going through a crypto phase right now. So I guess, I guess you got to wait it out. So uh, I joined a little bit too late when the stock was super expensive, so I couldn't buy much. So there you go. That's why I have only he eight health coins, but they're going to grow. I'm telling you, they're going to grow. You can monitor the market in real time. Every day you get a free spin for free money. It's incredible, dude. Just don't tell the IRS we're doing it or anybody else. I'm joking. Of course, it's all fake because uh, we love it fake. We don't like the real shit. Speaking of the real shit, we're about to start watching it. So, yeah, that's th that's all your fun for today. Then we got the podcast on the level one, and then who knows, maybe we're gonna watch P.P. Burnell play some Lies of P. Cause, uh, hello, P. Hello, how are you? I am Job. Uh, hello, Job. I am Dad. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, let's get into the shit that is, uh, uh, the greatly entertained, not entertained, entertaining, curated content which is designed to something something i forgot the boyfriend king had returned to us hurry hey what's up swaggy davis uh big ups dude and shout out to paradox uh, let me replay their pop-up very happy to see a return of meerkat full content yes yes it's nice to be back even though i haven't been gone much but i've been doing a lot of stuff in real life helping my my family at their family mature family house the hate to uh, protect in um uh, 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 you know what I mean. Sound good. So, I watched a little bit of his podcast yesterday, and I watched the whole react. I had it in the background while I was cleaning my new office. Um, speaking of my new office, I'm still not used to it, so I'm, I'm sorry if this stream is clunky in uh, 720p, but I'm not used to it, and my ISP is assholes. So anyways, um, first... That was a nice voice crack. First... We're gonna sit through a little bit of him considering to get another subscription service, which in this case, I think he's gonna be using it because it's like Ubisoft Plus. He plays those games once and then deletes them and then and never to be played again. So yeah, I don't even know if this is worth watching because I sat through it. It's basically him asking his chat if Ubisoft Plus is worth it and then he's struggling to get it running on his Xbox somewhere around here. Use to link now i don't have i have absolutely no clue what my ubisoft yeah. account is it's it's really, like the ultimate dsp segment i really have no idea <sighs> wow i have zero idea <laughs> shit and wow. that's like most of the video i think at some point we're gonna check out the um, dsp reacts to halloween the movie but i haven't seen that movie in the, a bunch of years so i can't really debunk it but his whole, his whole review is like a, a, 
almost scene by scene summary of everything that's happening in the movie and barely any kind of criticism or curated commentary if we, we're gonna call it like that yeah it's a it's basically just a fucking synopsis so yeah uh this video is about him wanting to get ubisoft plus which fucking sucks uh in general because it's another streaming service come on just buy the games you care about uh, but uh, in the video itself, this segment of his podcast sucks. So everything sucks. It's just one of those days. And uh, apparently DSP reacts is in shambles again. Army it's the high army. Army. If you guys didn't know, that channel has been doing great so far. Shout out to hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> Shout out to health coin. A couple things I do want to say, and obviously I'll emphasize this over on that channel, but... A couple things. Number one. <laughs> okay, so what, what what we're about to see, he repeated like three times yesterday. It was in an unrecorded segment before the react, and it's in the very first react video. I think there were there's definitely some duplicate nominations here. Like for example, I know for a fact one of the videos that was suggested for ultra memberships we just watched like a week or two ago. So I'm gonna play just to say, hey, I'm watching it, but just so you know, we already watched this, so we're not gonna watch it any further. Be careful when you're nominating videos because you're doing duplicates. You know, so <laughs> so so you're supposed to go back and basically watch all of his 30 episodes of DSP reacts that are broken down into like six videos each to even know what you should send. Because if it's a duplicate, the dude is skipping it. It doesn't matter if you paid like $20, he's just skipping it. That's that's number one. I want people to be more careful with their nomination. And the, the react yesterday was nothing special, really. There was something that was controversial that he discussed on the fence. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was Jordan Peterson or something like that. But the rest of it was just uh, levels below background noise. So it's, it's, it's almost nothing. There was one video, in fact, that about a minute and a half of the video passed without him even saying anything. Or, or goat laughing, or snorting, or saying, oh, that's interesting. Not even that. Because I feel like some people kind of waste them by not checking on the videos that we've already watched on the show. That's number one. Number two, okay? So as you guys know, if you follow the show, a couple weeks ago, we had a couple wise guys who basically nominated some videos that could be considered detractor content. One of them was essentially someone who was trying to criticize my gameplay of Grand Theft Auto... Uh, three and then another one was apparently a parody video of me trying ramen noodles for dsp tries it they were both atrociously bad videos you know i've seen <laughs> good Dude, hate army and i know you guys are probably gonna have a harder time noticing because it's 720p again that's my bad but the way this video is zoomed because it's it's zoomed in right on his uh i don't know head basically so you get to see that this dude stayed until at least three o'clock in the morning this dude just woke up from a night of fucking drinking and is trying to get the little hamster inside of his brain to, to start rolling videos uh, kind of poking fun dude, at me <laughs> this dude just he's he's looking so scuffed he's looking you know, terrible formal, dude. this is how you don't plays that are done really well <laughs> I've seen be much better parody videos. These videos were some of the poorest I've ever and seen. And his hair, like, what the fuck? What is up with this hair? Why is it so puffy and, and big? It has too much volume for the, the amount of the bent that it is. You know, the hairline is messed up. Like, no exaggeration. I, I wish I was, I was exaggerating, but they were just really low bottom of the barrel content. They weren't funny. They were just stupid. If you actually thought those videos were funny, it's because you're an idiot right so but why isn't dsp reacts dsp uh putting together or curating as you might say as some people might say curating some videos that he's watched during the week that he's interested in in discussing and then he reacts to them and is like hey you guys i found this cool video i'm gonna show you and now we're gonna talk about it and then it's more meaningful it's more curated it's definitely more transformative and it's actually a social thing you get to do with chat because you like those things why, why doesn't he do that? Because I guess, uh, please give me memberships. So then I can tell you what videos to send me. And you have to send me videos that I like. Oh. Or that sucks. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make you feel uh, bad. So but the thing is, when he makes them feel bad, they just apologize in the form of like a super chat or something. They send him like five bucks. Hey, Phil, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to try harder next week. As you know, 
I'm a crowdfunded individual. I create what is called curated content. What Who calls that? it like that? How How is it called like that? Who calls it like that? It sounds like he calls it like that. Nobody else says curated content. Come on. Fucking guy. Curated I'm content. I'm not a content creator on YouTube that is appealing to the masses. I know I'm not. I'm a 41-year-old gamer. I've been doing YouTube for 15 years. Why are you doing reacts then when you're not appealing to the masses and is not even trying to appeal to the masses? Uh, okay. And I'm not making clickbait crap. I'm not doing sponsored content. I'm not doing viral meme stuff. I'm literally sitting here as a normal dude, playing games, normal sharing dude. experiences with all of you on a daily basis. Some of you appreciate that. And because you appreciate it, you have supported my content over the years, and you allow me to create this curated content for my specific audience. Thank you for that. I really do appreciate those that go above and beyond. Dude, because like, sometimes he impresses me. And, and I, I'm even left dumbfounded by how much he has impressed me with, with how delusional he really is. Because this segment of his podcast, that is now a daily segment, is just... Shout out to Steve for that 8H video, dude, thumbs up. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll give him a shout out in a second. Uh, this segment in the podcast is absolutely the most unbearable part of his stream. Because he managed to spin... Being an internet beggar that relies on tips and super chats to pay his bills and, and tries to strong arm people into getting them, he tries to take that and package it into a positive. We try to market that as his whole brand, that it's good. And that's what, what sets him apart from other people and that's what makes his content good. This. And he actually, he, he speaks with a confidence uh, that... Many people would, would envy having this much confidence in being full of shit. It's incredible. God damn it. If it weren't for you. I because you can see, this. like, he genuinely believes this. He genuinely believes this. Because this is not stuff that he comes up with on the spot. He thinks about those things as, quote-unquote, preparation for his podcast. Hey, you know, today I'm going to talk about this. How am I going to talk about it? Like this, like this, like this. He does like a, like a wrestler does. You think in your head what you're going to say during a promo. For a living. I would have to do sponsorships, paid product placements, playing games I don't want to play just because they're paying me to advertise their game. The kind of stuff, shilling, that a lot of... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, speaking of uh, Steve. Yeah, shout out to Steve for that big video. And now he's uh, gone to have a surgery. So shout out to Steve. Hopefully the surgery is going to go well. We're going to come back. We're going to be hanging and banging on a regular style basis. Everybody send out some positivity for Steve in the form of um, a banana emote. Bar, bar, bar. Other YouTubers have had to degrade themselves to do. And you know, I'm not going to sit here and crap on other YouTubers because they had to do that. But I will tell you that the state of YouTube is sad. That the vast majority of people who do YouTube for... This is fucking great. Because uh, you see, like, three seconds ago, he said, I'm not going to sit here and crap on other YouTubers. Proceeds to crap on other YouTubers. Because this can't just be a segment about him talking about how positive he is. This has to also be a segment about how other people are terrible and you shouldn't support them. That's what I love about this guy. Because he, like, even when he's trying to be wholesome, he can't do it well. Like, he can't do it genuinely. He needs to spin that into his natural toxicity. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here... It's really what makes DSP DSP. He always got to inject some kind of drama and toxic behavior and just being terrible. Crap on other YouTubers because they had to do that. But I will tell you that the state of YouTube is sad. That the vast majority of people who do YouTube for a living have to constantly be plugging shit and having these sponsorships and these paid product placements. It's ridiculous. Why can't people just make content that they love? They absolutely can and they absolutely do. Uh, and also, this is a great freeze frame. Oh my god, this is delicious. He just saw uh, somebody with an open wallet at like the Walmart. Dead sea Scrolls and Rosetta Stone. I mean, the the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Rosetta Stone, the Dead Sea Scrolls as well. Dead Sea Scrolls is an extremely curated show. Extremely curated. And I would say 99% of people that do content about him uh, could call themselves curated content creators or curated content makers more than he does. Because, like, at least we think about, hey, I'm going to show him this video today. And he said something that I want to talk about. So I curated that video. And have meaning to it. Instead of shill, shill, shill for a buck. 
sad. I'm happy I'm not in that situation because of course. I don't ever want to be. You know, I want to he, he never wanted to be, even though he was. I want to be he was one of those. And he was taking sponsorships and he was plugging loot crate. You guys know. Who controls his content. When I stream for you guys, I usually do one ad break, a ginormous stream. This stream started okay. at 45 a.m. And if I have my way, there'll be one. Yeah, but you cry about losing ad revenue on the videos because they didn't get much views. This happened last week when YouTube messed up the view counts and they weren't showing the accurate view counts. They weren't... Um, curating the views properly one ad break probably when this podcast ends and oh, that's right, right. it i gotta use his derek's credit not kate's wait but you got a theory he uses derek's credit not cats i i don't think they would give derek a lot of credit there won't be anything so. else going on you know advertising i i wouldn't uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he would rather spend it on on shout outs from cam girls than shout outs from dsp because dsp is like is is Derek's pet at this point? Derek can tag him in chat and say, "Ban this guy. He's impersonating this guy, and that guy's gonna get banned immediately." To you, I don't want you to sit here and get bombarded with ads and shit because I think that's ridiculous. Now, here's the thing: the only way that I can make this work is if you support it for your crowd funds. <laughs> <one. laughs> Bro, th his hair is so distracting. He looks like radioactive Elvis. It's so weird, it, especially with this background where it's like Fallout. God damn it. And you do. And I'm incredibly grateful to everyone out incredibly there. Incredibly grateful. Support my content. Simply liking these streams, liking the videos you watch, leaving comments on no. engagement helps a no. lot and lets my channels get noticed. But going above. Who is noticing? But dude. Alert. He's been doing a lot of overtime lately. I thought he wanted to spend more time with his wife. Oh, I, I got hashtag a theory about this. Divorce. No, no, don't put hashtags anymore. I, I, I got a theory that justifies it. But uh, he just came off a segment saying that he doesn't do the content that is popular and he's not trying to. And I was saying drop a like on the video so ma more people get to see him. So you can get more, uh, more popular content no longer is going to be curated. Of and beyond. I'm very confused. With all kinds of crowdfunding is the is a really great way to keep this content rolling. So how can you do that? Well, alert. taking sponsorships that can benefit both you and your audience is degrading, but begging like a clown is not. He's just afraid of expectations. Uh, that's that's most definitely true. Yeah, and uh, the sponsorships at this point, I mean, sponsorships, brand deals, ads. Everybody knows what it is, man. It's just the company paying you to promote their product. You don't have you you don't. Going into like a a, um, a sponsor's stream, you don't think about the guy being objective. That's just not something you do. It's like the ads you see on TV. Super chat or a super sticker. Uh, also, uh, the theory about Kat, I was going to forget. My theory is that she doesn't have a job anymore. So spending time with her is more flexible now. So you can just stay and play like a Street Fighter for like two more hours while she's there playing Starfield all day. Love the Lego hair. The Lego hair is definitely my my favorite part of DSP. I, I wish the entirety of him was made by with Legos. During I've been crazy. Stream, which will get you a nice highlighted message in the chat, and I'll shout it out as well. A super thanks on an on-demand video that happens to be eligible for it. I say that because if a video gets claimed for some reason, it's not eligible. But I'm grateful for all of those. Those are ways to contribute through YouTube itself. They help a ton. And this time of year particularly, you know, people feeling a little bit more generous with all the new releases. Thank you in advance to anyone who does that. Becoming a channel member or gifting a membership to a fellow viewer. That's a great way to support the content. Oh, and also about the behind the scenes thing that is happening. I was thinking about uh, whether it's possible that he tried to refinance his house and then failed. And then it sent him into drinking mode. I'm drinking. So I really don't know. I really don't know. And he hasn't been giving out many hints, you guys. We can't figure it out. Uh, the Straight Edge Show says, what's wrong with sponsors? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with it is that he doesn't get them. So they're wrong, objectively. Not only are you helping out this channel, but you get something out of it too. Benefits such as access to all of my emotes, having a cool highlighted message if you're watching a video on demand, uh, a cool crown to show how long you've been a supporter, uh, the ability to talk as much as you would like <clears throat> without the limitations of slow mode in the chat when you're on a live stream. And many more. We also already mentioned just in this video, right, about the priority that you'll have nominating games for the Halloween event. So 
many, many benefits <clears throat> to being a channel member, especially this month in particular. Many I countless benefits. A member or gifting a membership. And of course, there's tipping. Tipping is a direct contribution to my PayPal. This is epically useful. For epically useful. <laughs> I wanted him to just say this is epic. <laughs> Number one, oh, this is epically is useful. A lump, of clay lost in time. a lump of clay. Well, the uh, people were calling him a melted candle, so that's not too far off. It's right. And now. I, I like the melted candle because the more you keep a candle lit, the more it melts. So it's kind of like him. Every year we get more droopy and more, it's like radioactive. So if you tip me right now, I get it immediately, and I can put it towards something. It's epically important. useful. For example. For example, pay my bills. Right. How about video games? All of these games I need to buy in the next month. Yeah. Because I've been rattling off some 10 plus games that I need to buy in the month of October. That's a significant increase to the operational costs. So Oper tips, operational oh, costs. Okay. In addition, <laughs> tips. The operational costs. Man, this dude is literally thinking he is a CEO or something. Come on, man. How are you going to take yourself so seriously and nobody else takes you that seriously? Not even close. Nobody comes close to taking him as serious as he takes himself. The operational costs. Come on, man. It's the liquidity of the business. I get more of a cut of than other contribution methods. He gets more of a cut. There's less of a middleman taking a cut of a tip than there is of the other contribution methods around here. So <laughs> that's why tips are so important. If you do tip, I will... Uh, <clears throat> a blowfish fossil from the Mariana Trench. I haven't seen how those look. That might be something. I will do my best to Follow not only shout. Now I'm interested in how it looks. The people's eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, the whole hairline. Put it out, but give some rewards. There's Just the whole hairline that I give out for the level of tips that. Someday I it's gonna look like the Nike logo. It's gonna be soon, man. Like a year from now. I reach on any particular stream, <laughs> okay? And by the way. Uh, uh, this when face I do is these just streams in the morning before my reaction. A, a face only an authentic Italian mother can love. Show any and a horse. Tips that come in on today's podcast count towards the react show as well. They carry over, so it's not like oh I tipped on his podcast now he erases that and we start from scratch on his react show. No, everything will carry over to the react show for rewards and tears and stuff. And <clears throat> my goal for this week is as follows: Goal number one, by the end of the streaming week. I would like to have 675 members. Currently, we're at 649. We keep dipping. We keep gaining. He says dipping, this so assertively, dipping, it's dipping. almost like he's asking right. for the money. I want to hit 675 by the end of the week. We've got to. It's it's like, oh man, because it reminds me when I was uh, like 18 and I worked in a warehouse, and that's how the day would. Dollar alert. He's been begging and coping nonstop lately. Oh, I muted myself. That's fucking fantastic. Um, he's been, that's, that's why I'm here to watch the pre-stream today, because that's going to be very entertaining. But it reminds me when I worked in a fucking warehouse and every day they would just set targets. It's like for you guys today, now guys, the target today is like 600 packages. And then we got 600 picked orders. Okay. Sound good. Fair enough. Today and three more streaming days to hit that. <clears throat> I know that's feasible. In addition, I'm trying to hit the tier one tips goal. On every stream this week. So far, Go we for have it. done that. Thank you to those who have contributed and made that possible. Okay? Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I do my react show, it is one of the slowest supported streams. He acts of the week like usually. he runs a multi million now. dollar company. Well, it could have been. It actually could have been. Because he's made more than a million dollars off of YouTube. So, I guess. Not always. I okay. guess he could be, but it's, it's definitely not a multi-million dollar company. We have a week where someone comes out and is very generous. But multi-million view company, you see? Because he's getting many, many millions of views. So there you go. We managed to do the mental gymnastics. Generous towards the react show, which is very nice. But particularly, I've noticed so when I do the react show, you know, contributions basically slow down to a crawl. And the reason that's, that's concerning the React channel, DSP React, only makes profit on stream content <laughs> and memberships. Oh, That's this is it. so corny. This is such a DSP segment. Videos over there because everything on my React channel gets claimed or demonetized. There's still videos from last week's React show that were demonetized, and I submitted them for review on YouTube, and they still didn't review them. So they're still demonetized a week later. That's how YouTube works. So I can't get any kind of profit 
on the videos on that channel, it's reliant on people contributing during the streams with super chats, memberships, and tips. Okay, we get it. And it's yeah. Reliant okay. On. Uh, <laughs> wait. Uh, what is it reliant no, on? Hold super on. Chats and tips, and then memberships behind the scenes is what. Remember what? I, I confused myself. Dude, this are we playing basketball? Is this some like tactics? Come on, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> memberships behind the scenes. What is this? A cult? Uh, but anyway. Every this is such a weird fucking segment, man. Everything but ad revenue. There's everything but ads. You could have just said this in the first place. Much shorter. There's really no ad revenue to be had on DSP Reacts, okay? <laughs> this dude, okay. man. So, on days when I'm doing the React content, if you could support this podcast or that stream or both, that'd be greatly appreciated. Like I said, right now, <clears throat> we've been doing good. The first two streaming days of the week, I've hit the goals for, for the tips. 50 bucks every stream. That's been happening. I want to hit that today. So please consider tipping this morning. Dude, notice how much things have fallen off since the vest streak. When basically every day for 276 streams, this dude was getting $100. And now his goal is just, just the half of that. Just half. It's literally half less. Or during the reaction. And he was super entitled to it too. Like if you've seen anything about the vest streak, no, it's all about the vest. Which it's vest? Concerned. When? I'm Are we going to hit it? I'm Are we concerned. not going to hit it? Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned too. I'm concerned, but I'm not concerned. You know, the, the sky is not falling, but I'm telling you that it might be. If you look outside. React show to support that content. You know, people say to me, well, why don't you do more react content? Right now, you just do a clip show once a week. Why don't you do a long form react show? Why don't you do more? Because they don't make why money. Do that? That's so, why. Because it has to support it. Yep. Right now, the vast majority of income I make is from my gaming. If... There was more support for the react stuff i would consider doing more of it i would give more time towards it and working on it but i have to balance my time you know equivalent to the level of support that i get if i'm getting way more support on gaming stuff than react stuff then obviously Bro, he is tweaking so hard or he can't not there's not a single frame of this video where he's just sitting still comfortably uh, comfortably and relaxed we'll go to the game. in in relaxed style fashion gaming and a little bit will go towards reacting if more people supported the react streams every week he's looking around like there's a table tennis tournament going on on the other side of the camera just left right left right we're gonna look up we're gonna look down touch my face what wipe it on the shirt the droopy face but with eyes bouncing around the room like they are lost in space and time <laughs> yeah that's that's exactly what it is then maybe i make more <laughs> cult of the pig dent the cult of the pig dent is uh having behind the scenes memberships only time for more reacting you know what i say but that's that's how it works right now okay ask for derek go to dark side phil uh, burnell productions and ask for derek for behind the scenes memberships and he's he's gonna give you the membership definitely po the pod should be shorter on react days to see more videos what, what? you gonna understand the pod it's different every week some weeks we actually get to more videos, some weeks we don't. It depends on how many Q&A questions you get. Are you going to answer the question, is the podcast going to be shorter so you can watch more videos that people pay you for? Or are we just going to do another Q&A for like 25 minutes? It was submitted and how many we're interested in, how many we're not, and we skip. Um, it also depends on what we have to do. I don't think he's drunk at this point, but he's definitely been drinking because he looks like the bottom of my shoe. It's podcast days. Some days we have a lot more to talk about and some days we don't, right? So it is it is different every week, admittedly. Um anyway. Hold on. Who's getting terminated? <laughs> it's some right. great podcast. So, <laughs> that is what we've got on the YouTube side of stuff. We have nothing on the tip side yet. <clears throat> so nothing to shout out for tips. Oh. Do you see my point about React Days? That what? really the what profit that I'm do you see my point i i didn't get people to send me money so that's the point send me money on these specific days and on the other days but today specifically make on the react channel is memberships <laughs> and contributions during the stream do you see my point significant these fucking idiots they're not giving me money you guys noticed while he's talking to these fucking idiots you get how great this is and he has no idea he's even doing it this year that contributions during streams for the react show have died down to almost nothing. There's been days when it's like my slowest stream all week. So that's not good. That doesn't vouch well for the react content that people asked for 
for years and years and years and absolutely insisted that DSP do content, react content. We want reacting. So I do reacting. And when what happens? <laughs> you well, know it's what not saying? it's not hype anymore. It's not interesting anymore. <clears throat> now it's even it's more interesting watching somebody react to DSP than DSP reacts. So he kind of missed that trend. Start doing something different, dude. He should do a skibbity toilet stream if that's still up. He's gonna catch all the ten year olds. What happens? But anyway, yes, like I said, any tips? He's gonna grow a massive channel. Towards. The but dude, imagine if DSP started doing content, curated content for actual children. I think his channel would grow much more than it's growing now because those kids they have zero standards. React show as well. He just needs to tap in into the proper demographic. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but then he would literally become a children's entertainer as opposed to now when he's a children's entertainer in denial. So let's let's dive in into this one. And <laughs> the the fantastic independent content curator who will tell us all about his business and his um how did he call it? His business model. I love it when he uses um business words when he uses uh valedictorian words Thanks. i will say one thing because i have recently well not really recently in the last few months to year i've started to kind of describe myself as a youtuber and a online creator a little different i've been saying the statement okay that i've been making curated content for my audience and i think a lot of people don't really understand what that means. What does it mean to make curated content versus just being a content creator in general? <laughs> because there's a lot of people out no. there on YouTube and no. on the internet in general. It doesn't have to be YouTube, it's Twitch and other places. And I feel like what they do is they try to make content that is more towards a generalized, open viewer base. What does that mean? These people make content that is supposed- Can we make a campaign for Sir Pastor Miller to come back into the Vortex? If we get enough signatures can he be forced to? Hatman did more for the Vortex in one month than most outside of the top <laughs> echelon have ever. Dude, I love him. I love him. I want him back. And I'm sure if I went and watched his woman-hating videos that he does now, uh, that I would love him a lot as well. Because there, there's definitely bound to be some really good sound clips in those. Well, let's actually give him a quick vibe check. Eric Miller. Without the pastor, because he's faking. And here he is. 683, dude! Last time I checked, he was at 666. So he's actually going to grow a little bit of a fan base with these videos. Where are all the good women? Your perfect girlfriend dunks on modern women. Yes, it's happening, you guys. Dog stock is going to the moon. Make sure to go to the stock exchange and invest in dog stock. Let me, let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. Invest in dog stock right now. Which, there's no dog stock. But imagine that uh, the health coin is also representative of, of dog stock. And yeah, this video popped up. You see 577 views. He hasn't made that many views since he was he shitting on duty. The first five seconds of every video and skips the rest of it. And he's wondering why people aren't watching or supporting him. <laughs> well, it's it's terrible, man. The skips are terrible. And when he just forces himself to sit there and not say anything, that's also terrible. That makes you want to skip. Post to go along trends, memes, hype. And that means they have to... F follow all of the common methodologies of content creation to try to get attention all right these people are heavily reliant on a mass consumption of their content in order to be successful you understand that these kind of mass consumption of their content pumping out this dude just sitting around all day thinking about other youtubers and how much they suck and how much better he is it's fucking sad because you know he's been thinking about this stuff this has been brewing uh, along with all the gin in his fucking brain. Content that is viral in order to really get yeah, noticed. Yeah, he's, he's trying to take every single L that has ever happened to him and twist it into a W. And all the W's are like crooked and look like the W on his forehead. If you can see those wrinkles, it looks like a W. 
fantastic. And make a living. They also have to then, because of their viral popularity, accept a bunch of things like product placements, um, advertisement campaigns, sponsorships. This is how they end up making seven figures, a lot of these people, okay? Um, I'm not like that, as you know. I'm not. He only makes six figures, you guys. Feel bad for him. Making content. He's not making seven. That I feel would be digestible to a mainstream wide audience. I, I don't aspire to do that. I hate to say it, but in the last 15 years that I've been a YouTuber, I've seen the audience on this site completely degrade. It went from people who originally, when I started on YouTube in 2009, 2008-ish even, it was people who were positive and eager to watch free content and absorb information. They were... <laughs> The way he did that little sniff when he said absorb, it's like he's sniffing cocaine. It's like he's absorbing it. In 2009, Fucking great. -ish even, it was people who were positive and eager to watch free content and absorb information. Oh, he absorbed that. He really needs that bump. Please, please tip him for that bump. Find it. They were great. He's calling the plug right away. Putting out content for them because this I enjoy the crowdfunded, independent, meaningful, robust, drama-free, curated content from the guy with the channel. If you don't, you are a moron. I agree. And chat agrees with me. There's it's, it's crowdfunded. It's curated. Free entertainment. All these clips have been curated to perfection. And or lots of knowledge. What does curating mean again? At their I forgot. You know, it, it was a new thing to be able to jump on your computer and watch YouTube. And wow, I can see a video game playthrough. I can see a review of a game from someone who's not a shill. Oh, I can see single women in my area. It's good and they're all MILFs? What? I'm I clicking on this. When they do funny projects, vlogging and stuff like that. It was a different experience. You know, today, there is such oversaturation in that market. And there are so many people who have jumped on, again, the content creation bandwagon. That in order to be successful in general, you just have to be like everybody else. You have to follow those same trends, the same viral popularity kind of memes. You have to do that. If a new hot viral game comes out, you have to play it. If you don't, you miss the bandwagon but and you it, just missed it, out on a ton of popularity. It's just with everything, man. If you're doing content about movies, you got to watch the latest movies unless you're you know, like the nostalgia critic. You're looking at old stuff or something, but even if he watches the latest stuff. You know what I mean. It's just a part of the business. It's just a part of the, the model in which the influencer works. That's that's just how it works. Clarity and attention and views and money that you could have made. If you don't jump on a new product everyone's trying, the new piece of food that everyone's taste testing. Okay. If you're not memeing about the new drama on the internet or the new political thing or whatever it may be. Because everyone's a different... DSP would rather have five sugar daddies supporting his lifestyle than a robust, diverse, smart audience. Well, yeah. Sounds like a mature, successful adult to me. As long as the gravy train keeps going and the moment it, it starts shaking and going off the tracks, then we immediately jump on the, the hype that was like three years ago. So he's going to play Among Us. Next time he gets $2 in tips a whole stream. Then next day he's going to be like, oh, you guys, I quit. this game was like popular. So let's play Among Us. Kind of saying it was like some meme. Content creator. You basically can't win. Right? But what I've been trying to express to you guys, <clears throat> all right, over the last several years, which I think a lot of people don't understand. They still don't understand. I'm not like them. And I never aspired to be. When I started on YouTube in 2008, it was a silly hobby. It wasn't anything that I ever thought would grow into anything serious. I wasn't trying to make videos that were going to go virally popular and get millions of views and make me rich. I never cared about that. You understand? There's literally people on this site that all they do is make content to make them rich. And that's all they care about. As long as- Yeah, there's plenty of content farms that put out terrible shit, especially with the the emergence of AI. There's so much shit that is just trash. But you don't have to watch them. There's so many other things you can watch on YouTube by people who are doing it with passion, with soul, and with the desire to make entertaining stuff that people enjoy. So this is basically coming from this dude that doesn't watch any of them. He just watches all the hype stuff. If if he was to watch anything. Yeah, I don't even care what it is. I don't care if it's useful, harmful, positive, negative. As long as there's money lining my pockets because I made it, that's all I care about. That's how these people act and, and behave. And that's toxic and wrong and very harmful, in my opinion, to the people at large on this planet. But no one... How is it harmful, though? 
they just let them do whatever they want. Wait, wait, wait. What is he actually talking about? The the content farms are harmful to people because they watch shitty content on YouTube. Continue to make really harmful content that they I would I would argue DSP is more harmful than somebody making top ten lists that are all AI generated and just shills out ten videos a day. I would say DSP is way more harmful because he's actually abusive to people. He's an asshole to people. Man. He guilt trips them and he tries to manipulate them. Even if he doesn't realize he's doing it, that means he doesn't have self awareness to realize he's guilt tripping people, and give him money. That's messed up. That's you messed know, up. People out there under the guise of being good guys, but really they're putting out really harmful stuff. Like Phil, everyone is fooled by hype, by spin, by marketing, and they don't understand. Oh that no, it's not like Phil, because with Phil nobody is fooled. Everybody can see through the bullshit, but a curated amount of people watching is actually harmful to humanity as a whole but no one will talk about that kind of shit it's right? ruining humanity follow the trends and memes and god forbid mr beast ruining humanity jack septic eye ruining humanity why because he took a sponsorship speak up against the that's that's what i'm supposed to think after this segment content creator who seems like there's this goody two-shoes big smiley when in reality it's just a facade all they care about behind the scenes is how that money keeps rolling in, right? And that's an invisible sip. You couldn't so, even see what he was drinking. How am I different? How are you different? You're I'm not worse. I'm a content creator. I'm a content curator. Curator. And he gives you a nice smug look into the camera like this is a lecture. He's introducing that new term to you. You're supposed to take out your notebook and take notes. Democracy is insane. This is coming from the guy who plays every game day one for day one views. Yeah, he tries to get games early as well. He got Mortal Kombat early and then cried about it and wanted a fucking refund. He, after getting his day one money. This is like the biggest fucking hypocrite. You understand? Allow me to explain. Because someone sent me a really awesome definition of this. And they okay. sent him a so definition of content curator, whatever the fuck so that is. Apparently as exists. Content curation, what does it mean? Well, content curators pay, play a pivotal role in shaping and enhancing the content that audiences will engage with. <laughs> this cretin was pumping out over 10 <laughs> videos a day to get as many views as possible. It was all about the money. Now, when his 200,000 sub channel gets 550,000 views a month while a 13k channel like Doody gets over 1 million. Now it's about curating. Well, yeah, man, everything is um, is sour grapes with him. He can't have it because he's not good enough and he didn't earn it. So it's bad. And he's going to find out all the reasons why it's bad. And he's going to skip out all the reasons why it's not. The responsibilities encompass not only the creation of content, but it's curation, ensuring that it would m remain relevant, informative and appealing to their target audience wow he said that last one like it was written in bold it's in all caps it's not that important it's just like yeah that makes sense Did people usually make content for a target audience it's not like i'm gonna be playing my streams to my mom you guys this dynamic role involves not only crafting original content but also seeking out and selecting existing content wow that with the brand's messaging and objectives everybody does that Literally everybody does that. Content curators are, in essence, architects of a brand's digital narrative. Wow, he's an architect, you guys. Phil is an architect. He's building a castle. He's selecting, organizing, <laughs> a castle of hate. content that tells a compelling story and resonates with an intended audience. <clears throat> so what does that mean? That means I am not making fluff content for the masses no, that's not what it says <laughs> i never once sat down and said i'm gonna make a youtube video today just for the sake of pumping out a video but, but that's why that's what all the shills do as well they pick out they curate their content they decide what video they're gonna make based on what is popular they edit it they put you know the voice clips audio clips so much stuff that's all a part of content curation and objectively looking at it DSP does a lot less as a content curator than the, all the other people he wouldn't even call content curators. That hopefully people will watch and laugh at and make me money. Every piece of- Because I mean, it, I don't know if you noticed, this video by Hate Army that a, a content curator actually made has green screen and DSP doesn't have green screen and it has his chat on the screen and DSP doesn't have it. 
So it's de definitively and objectively more curated than pretty much any of DSP's videos. Content that I try to put out on the internet, I attempt to make it meaningful for my specific audience. And okay. I know that my target audience is not widespread. It's not. Okay. Same. First of all, it's not kids at all. I don't think that any teenagers would enjoy my content. I'm being honest now. Unless he got they, super defensive over being a children's entertainer. I just want to laugh at the old man who sucks at games. I don't think <clears throat> that teenagers would enjoy my content at all anymore. Back in the day, absolutely. Why? Because my commentary back in the day, excuse me, my commentary back in the day was all immature. It was sex jokes. It was racial jokes. It was stupidity, right? And I did that on purpose because when I started on YouTube, that was the general audience. He did it on purpose. Right? But over the last 15 years, <laughs> that I've been... I was racist on purpose, you guys. I'm not the same guy. Been on YouTube. Now I'm racist by mistake. It's different things I've learned in the last 15 years. I've learned. I've evolved and changed. By his own definition, detractors are curators, lol. Absolutely, and by his own definition of when meaning of what meaningful is, detractors make more meaningful content than he does. And it's objectively more meaningful because more people enjoy it. Clearly looking at analytics. As a person and a creator, I'm not making that kind of content anymore. I've purposefully changed who I am and what I make to have more meaning to my specific he audience. He made it more meaningful. I know who I am and what I stand You thought DSP in 2016 was meaningful enough? Oh man, once you see DSP in 2023, that's a whole new level of meaning. For because as many moronic mouth drooling idiots out there oh wow that was a meaningful insult who just jump on a hate it was curated slurs as well bandwagon of viral memeing the lol cow bullshit that lol cow makes no fucking sense. oh and this is the lol cow denial segment there's so many cool segments in this one segment it's when applied to me <laughs> i'm not a fucking lol cow so <laughs> what the fuck is this hair Sorry, you're the lol cow. It, it looks like he got hair plugs or something. This, it looks so much more thin in these clips than his hair now. It's so just fluffy and artificial looking. You created it. You created you, it. If you apply it in general to many others. I mean, take a look, I hate to say it, at some of the people who are called the lol cow crew out there. Who, are you? Mr. Honesty was dishonest for his early career. Yeah, he did it on purpose and it was a joke, or if it wasn't, then it was a character. What content do they make and why are they called that? Well, do they have curated content? Bro, being a lol cow is not about what content you make. It's about you personally, what kind of a person you are. And also being in denial about being a lol cow and claiming that you're not is a very very big trait of lol cows for a specific audience or are they just pumping out stuff and trying to ride the coattails of embarrassment viral embarrassment on the internet for pity box that's not me i tell you specifically don't Who does that though to my content the, the island boys i guess the island boys are lol cows i guess because of haters and hater activity or anything like that I only want you to contribute to DSP Gaming and DSP Reacts if you like the content I'm putting out. Only like a video if you truly enjoy it. Leave a comment. But what about the algorithm? If you want to help me create more oh, there you content go. specifically yeah. for you. Leave a like if you like the video, but leave a comment to help me. Because that's how I continue to succeed. But I'm not making stuff to just get, up, get a ball. When you say you're not a lol cow, you are a lol cow. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the... One of the first symptoms of being a lol cow. And another one is just basically having no self-awareness like he does. If that were the case, I absolutely would have changed many, many years ago. I would have ridden every popular trend. I would have had the fucking my face on every thumbnail. Eh, or oh. You do it now. Oh, or whatever it means to be. He does it now, but yeah. Well, right? there you go. The same fonts, the there same you go. tags. I and mean, he doesn't even make the thumbnails himself. And that person that makes them, not getting paid. Would have collapsed. Not even throwing him like five bucks. They're straight up not getting paid. They're not even getting paid in exposure because he doesn't even want to say who that person is. Collaborated with people. I would have taken sponsorships. I would have been a paid shill. I had all those opportunities laid out in front of me like all the other YouTubers. And I turned it all down. I never did any of that shit on purpose because for me, 
I want to be rewarded for the work that I do because you like the content I put out that's curated for you and you reward me by supporting it via crowdfunding. That's the relationship we have. That's the difference between me and all those pe other people Alert. out there. That Phil uses curated wrong. Curation is selecting, organizing, and looking after Thames in a collection. Not creating. Foolishness Dante. Foolishness. Well, he is, I guess you can say he's uh, curating gameplay because he's curating the, the specific games he want to play and then he makes a playthrough of them. And that's a part of his museum because he's acting like he works in a museum or something. And his YouTube channel is like a museum because it's all antiques from like 15 years ago that nobody really cares about anymore. And they most people didn't know they existed. That people compare me to. Look at the shit they put out. Do you think these people... And also, this is a terribly, terribly... Uh, parasocial relationship segment and it's very abusive in the way that those parasocial relationships can work because he's making those people that watch his shitty youtube videos we're talking about youtube videos here he's making them feel like they're a part of some inner circle that is specifically selected people that pass the, the specific test for someone to punch down to oh well, he's he's been for a long time uh, especially after the, the interview, man. That interview just broke him in, in many, many ways. Joy and now it's just like every day. He can't just raise himself up. He can't lift himself up and, and blow smoke up his own ass. He needs to bring other people down because they suck. And he's awesome. What they're doing, the kind of content they're putting out. A lot of them even said publicly they don't. They only do it because it's all they can do making money. It's pretty sad. I enjoy what I do. I love what I do. Really? I actually have Why are you not playing games right now? Why is this segment 31 minutes long? Full audience who I can interact with on a daily basis. And I don't have to do things I Because happy people, you know, one of the signs that someone is really happy is they rant about things that they're really insecure about. And they that really piss them off and grind their gears. That's what happy people do. And they do it on a daily basis too. And super happy people, they do it in front of a big stage so everybody can hear that they're really insecure about stuff. Don't like to make a living. Let's put it that way. I can be who I want to be and be okay with myself at the end of the day and the things that I do on stream and I can still make a living doing it. That's really? the ultimate goal, is it not? He's happy at the end of the day about the things he does on stream. Didn't he apologize on Twitter for abusive behavior recently? And... It sucks that knit, Knitter is down, so I can't use it. Uh, yeah, I think it got shut down for good, because Elon messed it up. Uh, or, or, or it actually works. Let me try and look somebody up. Oh, it does work. Wow, this is great. So I can show you the tweet in, in which DSP is apologizing for being abusive to his fans in an emotional outburst. That's why he always says we, us. Yeah, man, it's a it, it's a thing, and and he does it to make them feel like they belong somewhere, like they're a part of something. Let me find where it was. I can confirm. Blah blah blah. Tonight is this. Eh, there it is. There we got it. I again want to apologize for my anger and behavior on stream today. It stemmed from a combination of factors, both Street Fighter related and personal. I hope to be able to relax a bit more on my day off and return refreshed on Friday. Thank you for putting up with me and for your support. And this guy who got like, what, 30,000 followers? 26,000 followers and 75,000 tweets. This dude is, wow, unplug him, please, unplug him. 26,000 followers, all he got on his heartfelt tweet was 46 likes. In 20 quote retweets, which is basically just trolls that haven't been banned yet, uh, getting banned. So yeah, and Phil, at the end of the day, let's let's uh, hear that again. Be who I want on a daily basis, and I don't have to do things I don't like to make a living. Let's put it that way. How about begging though? What? Didn't he tell the side scrollers? Oh. It and, and that was in the borderline crying segment. Oh, you guys think... Uh, you, you guys think I love doing this? Sitting there begging? You guys think I love begging? I can be who I Come want. Come on, man. And be okay. This is like a good speech if it's in a vacuum. Uh, the, the moment you put it in context, it's terrible. Okay with myself at the end of the day and the things that I do on stream and I can still make a living doing it. That's the ultimate goal, is it not? 
I don't harm anyone with the content that I put out. Literally name one person who gets harmed by uh, Lavinia me sitting here playing video games or having fun conversations with you. Oh, fun day. conversations. Oh, wait, let me. Uh, oh, I can find that whole thing, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys know the Lavinia rant. I don't have to bring people down. I don't have to make drama content. I don't have to man for for almost every sentence of this video 10 minutes long. I can open up a bunch of tabs and find a bunch of clips that debunk him. Purely just his behavior. Be a scumbag to other people, right? I'm not even going to say anything Nor about him. I don't want to be dragged into other people's nonsense or drama either, right? I, I absolutely positively try to ignore... He doesn't want to get into other people's drama nonsense either. He dissed LTG. That. Looking for a response. So I can make positive, fun content. Positive, fun audience, content. I curate that content for. That's the difference between me and other content creators this is out the dumbest there. bullshit I'm not making mainstream content so that it's virally popular for every kid to digest and send me money because they think that i'm some hot shit who dresses up like a fucking gi joe character with a fucking fake mustache and oh, fucking what? sunglasses and screaming at oh a camera. oh oh i get it i get it this was all about dr disrespect it was just all about dr disrespect wow fucking great but hold, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't have to dress up with a hat, looking goofy, in a mustache. Well, maybe that's because the mustache already looks fake enough. You don't need a fake one. And the hats, let's not bring that up. Or maybe don't talk about vests either. Because at least that other guy, he dresses in clothes that are his size and make him look decent. And this guy, mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Acting like an idiot. I'm just I don't an have idiot. Dyed fucking hair, so I look like a cartoon character. So okay. That kids will ask their mommy and daddy to buy my merch. I don't. But what's what's wrong with having dyed hair? I don't get this. What's wrong with dyed hair? It's somebody else having a hairstyle. It's not even on you. Fucking put out. You should have dyed hair. Virally very dangerous content drama content slander content slander really only bringing down others for my own personal gain oh that was awesome it, he, we're in the middle of that segment where he's dragging people down for his personal gain to personally make himself seem better personally tell people that he is better in this segment in this segment in the previous sentence when he dis doctor disrespect and all the other pur purple haired brown haired colored haired people and now it's like i don't bring people down really when other people have a bad day i don't profit right well we got the uh, dsp news so he kind of does it's a it's a part of his podcast his podcast is always monetized so yes he does i don't do any of those trends because the other day uh i remembered because i was restreaming this he started off the dsp news the gaming news segment by talking about Elon Musk's girlfriend and their drama that they had. He was doing literal TMZ drama. Entertainment weekly drama. That's the kind of shit he was doing. To start off his podcast about gaming news. Whatsoever. Why? Because they don't mean shit to me. I'm not here just to make content for a buck. I never was. Never was. Well, that's, that's a fucking lie. That is just a lie. Come on who makes content for the audience that I'm trying to speak to and be meaningful to on a daily basis. And if it wasn't, and here's the truth, that my haters don't ever want to exp uh Oh, yeah. Get a load this of this, haters. True, I wouldn't be here today. He uses that line of logic about many, many things. Uh, and it's always really flawed because it's just like hypotheticals. Hey, if this didn't happen, then I would do this other thing. Well, hypotheticals are bullshit because they're not reality and they're not going to happen because something else happened instead. And this is a, a really terrible line of thinking because let's say if YouTube cared about their terms of service, I wouldn't be doing this. Or he wouldn't be doing this, definitely, because he's way bigger than I am. Because if this wasn't true, if I didn't have an audience that appreciated who I was... Uh, I if out. my grandma had wheels, she would be a bicycle. There you go. Take that, haters. The fact that I curated specifically for them, if my content had no meaning to anyone, I wouldn't be here. Why not? Because I don't do what everyone else does. Again, no drama, not trying to take advantage of children, 
and I'm not doing lol cow shit and embarrassing myself on fucking stream, taking my shirt off and sucking cucumbers and doing fucking stunts. Dude, this is awesome. Money. I love this. Everything he said. Everything he said in this segment he has done. Everything. Someone needs to make a monthly lolka crossword puzzle. Random food for thought. Well, sure, get to work. Get to work. But let's let's recap this. All the things he hasn't done and he doesn't do. And if he did them, he wouldn't even be here anymore. So obviously he's never done them. For them, if my content had no meaning to anyone, I wouldn't be here. Why not? Because I don't do what everyone else does. Let, let's see what he doesn't do. Uh, again, disclaimer, alert. These are the things he doesn't do. Again, no drama. No drama. The guy who gets triple the amount of views he otherwise would when he makes a drama video or a react to something that is very dramatic about himself. You know, Rambo and Howard, that's not drama. Dissing Review Tech USA, that's not drama. Dissing Low Tier God, that's not drama. Dissing Keemstar, that's not drama. Not trying to take advantage of children. Not trying to take advantage of children. Even though we know of people who are even more susceptible to manipulation than children in his audience that are hardcore fans. And we can name some from, from since the beginning of time. And I'm not doing lol cow shit. And he's not doing lol cow shit. All the while he is 12 minutes into a lol cow shit segment. This is a segment a lol cow does, and it's 30 minutes long. And embarrassing myself on fucking stream, taking- And he's not embarrassing himself on stream, even though he begs for money to put a hat on that you guys like. Also, with the whole, um, not being, um, not having his audience consist of children, then he's blowing bubbles for adults? He's putting hats on for adults? He's wearing vests for adults? What kind of adults are these? It, it raises even more red flags than if he was targeting children, because there, then you understand it. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. In my shirt off and sucking cucumbers and doing fucking stunts. Yes, he doesn't do that specific thing of sucking a cucumber, so obviously he's not like any of those people. Money. I don't do any of that shit. I just sit here and make content I like, and you guys like it too, and I get to make a living doing it. That's the difference between me and everyone else out there who tries to drag me down into their toxic shit. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a dumb motherfucker out there say that, oh, he's this, he's this lol cow group, he's that. I'm nothing. I'm my own man. I'm, I'm nothing. Own... <laughs> That's the truest thing he has said in these almost 13 minutes. I'm nothing. You can quote him on that. Put him on a poster. Anomaly. One among many who stands I'm an anomaly. differently. Yes. I will not be brought into your horse shit. This is also a, a just a differently worded definition of a lol cow. He is an anomaly. He's different from everybody else in those very specific ways. And people laugh at him. So that's what a lol cow is. Congrats, Phil. You debunked yourself. Because you all had to follow the bullshit trends to make a living. And yet either had to embarrass yourself or hurt people to fucking do it. I never had to do that. Really? That's something to be proud of. He never had to do that. Keep in mind, now we're jumping in absolutes, but not about who he is right now. Who he's always been. So he's never hurt anybody to, to get hype about himself so he can profit. Never happened. Never happened. Except, you know, all those times. Rambo, Howard, Keemstar, all these addressing stuff. Duncan on... on um, Pro Jared and then making like a two hour stream because all the people that he got watching him from Duncan on Pro Jared would be watching it and he wants to redeem himself. That's not hurting somebody else. That's definitely not profiting off of somebody else's misery. That's something to feel good about. That's something to feel good about. I agree with you, Phil. Alert. A meaningful streamer from Renton takes gin shots for money. Call him Dr. Disrespect. Oh, yeah, name. dude, I, I forgot uh, taking shots for money. That's, again, it's, uh, I would rather suck on a cucumber. Being a, a self-confessed former alcoholic and taking shots for money is much worse than sucking on a cucumber. Literally. When you're part of this community and you support this... Because you degrade yourself to that, to, to the state in which, admittedly, he has admitted that being an alcoholic was the lowest point of his life. He has taken himself back mentally to that point just for a hundred dollars. Imagine that.
content because you like it, you should like, wow, that's something different that I actually cre helped create via my support. That's why Phil's still here. You know? Not listening to the toxic nonsense of morons who are jealous. Oh, they're jealous. Why? And there we go. There we go. Now we got the other point. Everybody is jealous. I'm better than them. They suck. That's the, the holy trinity of DSP. You think people try to bring me into their drama all the time because they're fucking jealous. That they're jealous. I do this and not be in their bullshit. They're really? so pissed that they- I haven't heard those people complain about having to pay their bills to the internet. Why would you be jealous of that? Those embarrassing things in order to make a living. And they want me to have to go down to that level too. I will never have to go down to that level because I'm not like them. You understand? You're never going to see me really? acting like that. That didn't happen? I don't have to be. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and we got to talk about his uh, Halloween decorations. Because apparently there's a, a Halloween tree. It's like a Christmas tree, but spooky. Because you guys allow me to do what I love. Truly love. Rather he truly than, loves. Wow. He got the script wrong. He didn't say I truly. I can sit here and do shit I truly hate. Okay. So the way I can bring in money. That's didn't you hate Wolong Fallen Dynasty? That was the whole... The whole narrative about that playthrough is that he hated it and people wanted to see him fail, so they gave him money and he kept playing it. Pretty fucking sad. Yeah, that is pretty fucking sad. Now, here's the truth. I wish them all the best. Every person out there... Really? ...who's malicious. What? Every person out there who's done messed up things. I Come wish on, man. I thought, like... Come on, I, I get him. Most of the time, he's j delusional. He's uh, so he can come across as he's lying or he's bullshitting, but he's just delusional. Here he's just downright disingenuous. Him all the he best. wishes him all the best. Really? The people that make fun of you? The people that get way more views than you making fun of you? And then that attracts the eye of bigger people like Heel versus Babyface or Moist Critical? Those people? You wish him the best. Really? He wanted Tevin locked up like three years ago because he was a criminal. Best. I just wish that all these people would look in the mirror and realize how truly harmful they are. To oh, themselves. and now we get Dr. Phil. That's that's where it was all coming from. You need to make yourself look like the good guy and then you grandstand them. That's what you do. That's a tried and tested uh, 6,000 frames per second strategy. To everyone else around them, to people who watch YouTube, to kids, to all these audiences that basically are being abused and or exploited, I wish they would just realize that because then maybe they would actually try to do something better for themselves, for their audiences, whatever it may be. But sadly, YouTube has become a place where there really is no one caring about that, that anyone can get over for any reason. That's not true. No one to say, well, wait a minute, that's really messed up because you actually messed, did this, you hurt this person, you exploited this group, you did this. No one does that. Instead, as long as it rolls in and is popular and gets views and what? makes money, it must be good. No, no, that's exactly the opposite. Many people do that. You know what kind of a market there is for hit piece videos that expose people that have dumb, dumb shit or scams? There's so many people doing that. Uh, I watched another video on um, on Logan Paul's crypto scheme by CoffeeZilla. Those are some great investigative journalism style videos. And there are many other like Turkey Tom or other quote unquote commentary channels. That's the whole thing. They call out the other motherfuckers do degenerate shit on the internet. That's completely wrong. There's people on YouTube right now who everyone loves. It's just like it's it's a dude who doesn't watch YouTube. Talk about what YouTube is like. This is what we get. And if you actually analyze them and who they really are and what they really do and the businesses that they're really running, you'd be appalled at who they really are. But no one looks that deep because we all want to similarly. No, that's not feel true. Like we could be like them, right? These so big celebrities now who are big popular people, right? That, oh my God, this person had a million view video. That must be a great person. What? Who thinks that? What? I am here to tell you, folks, as someone back in the day who had viral popularity, all right? Viral popularity begets more viral popularity. When you're popular, you're popular for popularity's sake? No, no, that's not. Come on, don't listen to this guy. He was literally never virally popular. He has no idea what he's talking about. Until something bad happens and then you've fallen from grace, correct? So 
Your pop you're there is no such thing as popularity's sake. It doesn't exist. Mr. Popular until the day when there's a reason to turn against you and then everyone will viral. Many people that seem like they're popular for popularity's sake have insane amount of branding behind them to make them interesting. Look at the Kardashians that he usually gives as an example. They got a fucking reality show and each one of them has a specific business and has uh, like five kids from some basketball player or something. Really turn against you because it's just they're, they're a brand machine it's fun to tear down the person who's popular as it is to jump on the popularity bandwagon and that's what happened to me is for a while i was the virally popular youtuber and then all of a sudden this is how you don't play came out and it was it never virally popular oh, so popular jump on the negativity bandwagon nope. crap all no. over the dark side people have hated him since since we know him on the internet people have hated him that's that's just it go watch the dead sea scrolls shout out uh wpig Today, the vast majority that's you. You can see all the facts. Majority people who don't like always don't even know why. since the dawn of mankind, DSP has been hated. They they just heard something, right? Oh, I heard something about that guy, right? Do you even know who I am? Did you watch any of my content? Oh no, I just heard something about him. He's bad news. Wow. So you're an idiot. Who is that? Somebody on Twitter? Do anything for yourself. You just listen to stupidity from mouth drooling idiots who benefit from toxicity on the internet. You know, like the fucking side scroll. Toxicity is stupidity. Who didn't do an iota of real research? They just listen to like a thousand haters. I mean, they, the dumbest people on the fucking planet. But bro, they, they talk to you for five hours straight, and you could have debunked all the bullshit that they've heard from from dunces and made them look terrible. If he was what he claims to be, he would have destroyed those people. They would have closed down shop after that episode. But he just sat there for five hours. They roasted him. He had no answers for anything that made sense. And then now his his ass is chapped. Wait. Sadly, that's how most people think on YouTube today. They don't actually go out of their way to look to see what someone stands for, to see why there would be positive meaning behind a piece of content that someone puts out. Instead, let's just focus on the viral meaning. And they also asked him a lot of very generalized questions that are not gotcha questions they're not supposed to be trick questions or loaded questions they're pretty similar uh, pretty simple general questions because their haters think that they're a bad person it's insanity it is that's insanity I mean, rampant on youtube it's either someone's ultra squeaky clean popular or someone's just a scumbag where's the in between right in reality no one's perfect in reality no one has <clears throat> the ability to be immune from mistakes, right? Everyone makes mistakes. Does that mean that someone should be completely buried? That someone should be... Hey, we get wrestling terms again. ...destroyed because they made a few mistakes over the years? Should the bandwagon of hate continue endlessly for the dumbest fucking reasons? Even when some of the reasons have been disproven and aren't real, just move on to another one, Which right? ones? It's really messed up. The, the, uh, the catfish? The escort? Well, the internet I just want him to bring that up. Because me over the years. <laughs> and, you know, like nobody, even the people that don't know pretty much anything about him, nobody refers to the escort. It's just one of those things that people just know it's bullshit and they don't bring it up because they know it's bullshit. Oh, you know well, again. So even somebody, some random dude in the replies in Twitter that doesn't know about DSP, they're going to talk about him begging or being shit at games or jerking off. That's all. As long as I'm able to make. And, and those are all factual things that are recorded and, and curated. For an audience as small as it is, as long as you guys enjoy this content and you continue to support it, I want you to understand that's all I care about. I will continue to be here for you guys and make this meaningful content. And you can, please can tell you to tell me how much it means to you. And I really appreciate that. Oh, so as it's a game of telephone. Literally a game of telephone. He just admitted it that curation even though right? it's it's clear to see it's nice it's nice to see that he admits it now that it's just a game of telephone he tells them that it's meaningful and they tell him back that it's meaningful so he just keeps doing it apparently that's his business model now hey. just tell me you love me please and i'll tell you i love you and we can keep be being abusive to each other sound good i'm gonna keep we can even get married i'm gonna take you to my parents house eat some burgers it's all free don't worry about it they're paying for it I got no money. I'm, doing it. I'm gonna keep going, man. You know, the day that I come to stream and I see absolutely no one who's being positive and no one who seems to be getting anything, you know, good out of what I'm doing is the day I retire.
Uh, that's super absolute statement, as narcissists, I guess, tend to do. They just say absolute things. If I go outside today and there's literally nobody out there, uh, that would be pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, that that's never going to happen. He's also always going to have more than zero fans. Always. So he's never going to retire, basically. The production is strong with this one. It is making my head hurt. The production of what? Huh? I, I'm going to The projection? You mean projection? I think you do. And there's been a lot of it, yes. It's, it's almost like we're watching him in IMAX, the amount of projection there is. That's why I had to scale down this stream. It's in uh, 720p. Because it's just 2 HD. I was watching Dude's stream last night and Kingsley dropped some spice in you lore. So you were actually the Kiwi Farms guy. Honestly, it all adds up your obsession <laughs> with her. You got a glimpse of that van lifestyle <laughs> and you couldn't go back me a cat baller. Yeah, I heard about this on Twitter apparently. I was the guy from Kiwi Farms that uh, made sexy time with Jenna. We woohooed and then we took a shower in Kool-Aid. And then... Everybody clapped, uh, obviously. And it all makes sense, you guys. If you really don't think about it, it all makes sense. Make that commitment to you right now, all right? I'm seriously, I'm gonna put my hand up and I swear to you right now that the day when I come to a stream and I turn on this stream and no one positive is here saying, this is meaningful, this is fun, I love your content, I, you know, whether it's something I like to listen to every day, because I like to listen to news stories or what's going on. <laughs> news with you. stories. Or I, I like having a fun conversation with you on a live stream. I learned if this game was worth my time. You know, all the things that I do. The day when that goes away and tell me that's no meaning to what I do, I will retire. I commit that right now because that's all I care about. It's not about paying <laughs> the bills for me. It's not, what? It's not about paying the bills. How are you going to pay the bills though? Do you have a second job that can maintain your, your hobby? I, I what it's not about paying the bills but like out of all the times where he said things that he really doesn't mean this is now is the time he's saying things he really doesn't mean about meaning okay. oh but it has meaning hold on hold on think about it okay and the thing is you guys have told me over and over Color alert. We the voice of the absolute right here you do even as, as the absolute right all of an audience as it is that he has an absolute right to uh, put out meaningful curated content that's what he got he got the license to chill i have I, I would argue if you take a look truly at my audience there's probably ten thousand people on this planet who actually really enjoy my content but they're not here all the time there's probably uh, maybe they went to a different planet where they don't have dsp stuff probably like at just all to detox a little a bit day, Maybe a thousand positive people. Ten thousand. Not th this dude. Come on. A thousand positive people. All these qualifiers. All these fucking signature DSP nonsense. This is a fantastic video for the uninitiated of the DSP. The people that haven't studied this guy like he's the Koran. This is that one. You get to see it all in one place. This is like the greatest hits. People who watch my content and like it and they, they'll watch the different various things. You know, 10,000 people video, for this other game. They don't all watch everything that I put out on a given day. You probably get a thousand unique viewers. And then probably, like I said, probably 10,000 people on earth who actually still like dark side Phil's content and follow me and want to want to watch what I do. And that's enough for me, man, to know that there's that many people who actually really love who I am and what I'm doing. But that that's, that that's why I push forward through all but this. That's, content. that's not necessarily it for, let's say for, if you got a, an audience of 10,000 people, at least for 9,000 of them, you're going to be just a guy putting out YouTube content, any kind, whatever it is. And if you're gone tomorrow, if you literally just suddenly stop putting out videos, they're not even going to notice. So don't don't put your eggs in that basket because that basket just disappears one day with your eggs in it. And then you're eggless. Then you can't drink eggnog. I prefer the begging to this utter bollocks. I, I prefer this to the begging, honestly. This is, I love delusional Phil, and I love gaslighting him into feeling that he's, he's even better than his delusional self might tell him. Nonsense. That, that keeps me going. So thank you for that, really. And when you share your stories of what, you know, how what changed something or meant something to you or whatever, that is so cool to me to hear that that's, again, that's why I want to keep doing this. You understand? So... Thank you for that. But that's why I'm a content curator. 
I'm not a content creator. Remember, and I'm, we made the full 180. I'm an independent content. We creator. made a full circle, everybody. We got back to the beginning. This is why he's a content curator. It just took him 20 minutes to, to explain why. I would just like to remind everyone. I am an independent content creator. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an independent content creator. A content creator is someone who just shovels shit out. A content yeah, creator sounds like is it. someone who makes specified content that's meaningful to their specific audience and don't care about mainstream popularity. That's me to a T. That's the definition <laughs> of who I am. All right? That's what I stand for. Content curation, curator. Not creation. Curation, not creation. I would say he's a content generator because he creates content based on who he is, just, just by himself. It secretes through his skin. It's just content. We call it gold dust and content, but he does generate it. That's basically who he is. All right. That's my new slogan. Curation, not creation. There you oh, go. very nice. All right. Okay. I got a dollar tip from Snow Carl. I appreciate that consistency. Yeah, also, Shinko was right, calling him the content catalyst. And now it's more true than it has ever been. Because now he's trying to change the definitions of what he is, but even more so fitting into the definition of a content catalyst. Make incredible content. He says, I keep up with your content even though I'm not here all the time. Well, thank yeah, you so yeah. for the dollar tip. Yeah, we got the, the other side of the game of telephone calling in. You're probably here under 17 socks, and we all know it. But thank you for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. <laughs> and we'll, like we get a random else. snow carl diss for some reason we know we know you're here we jumped on again ah shit i clicked on something hold on let's find where we were all right well thank you snow carl for the everyone else we know we know you're here we probably talk to you every day too <clears throat> i don't know about youtube notifications he's so paranoid about sock accounts and larpers in his chat it, it's it's like fantastic because the gaslighting is getting to him and it's like a, a dsp chat room looking at it from the DSP point of view, it's a it's a nightmare place, cause you get both people that kiss your ass and people that hate your guts all at the same time. And you want to look at the chat if you're DSP, you want to look at it for the validation for the ego. But then you see some fucking idiot saying something super toxic about your wife, and then it gets uh, it, it gets scary. Patients, I've literally not once in my 15 years using YouTube, using YouTube notifications. I would never use them. They're not reliable. They've never worked. I hear over and over over the years that people, sadly, they subscribe to a channel and they just expect that YouTube will work and it doesn't. So they don't know when someone's streaming. They don't know when someone's uploading. Listen, unlike most other content creators, I have an incredibly consistent schedule. I'm here six days a week full time, podcast, gameplay stream, gameplay stream. My schedule is available on my channel page every night, even on my Twitter account, slash X account. I slash Mr. X Consistent. account. Mr. Consistent. <laughs> you should know. Well, I, that's the one thing I can give him credit for. Uh, well, he's not on time every day, but his stream is at the same time every day. And you can kind of estimate when he's about to start rambling. The content itself is dog awful. Dog off, God awful. And dog shit. But it... it that's the one thing I can give him, the, the mild amount of credit. And that's because he literally has nothing else to do. He's got nothing else to fill that time with. That's why he got to be doing this, because it's his only method of revenue. Not be relying on YouTube notifications to know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. There is numerous ways that you can find this out at any given moment. If I said I'm streaming and I'm not streaming, something serious is happening. Because again, I have work ethic. Again, work ethic. A lot of other internet really? content creators who are flaky and they stream whatever they want. Uh, they cut out their burps out of the videos. They play whenever they want. I mean, come I'm on. Consistent. I treat this like a real job because I care about you guys. But bro, that's your fucking problem. Because he treats being a YouTuber as an office job where you just get to sit down, you clock in at an estimated amount of time that you're supposed to be there. You just sit on your desk all day, you complain about stuff, you go to the water cooler for 20 minutes, you come bra back, you take breaks that are way too long, and at the end of the day, you clock out. That's his fucking problem. This is not an office job. You need to have some kind of creative flair. You need to take some kind of initiative. This is going to be your fucking business. And I want you to have the content. This is not an office job. So I work my ass Grandpa. off without that content for you. 
And if I'm not here, I know people actually are upset about it. Like, what happened? Phil said he was going to be here and he's not. I wonder what, you know, they care. And I appreciate that you guys care and wonder what's going on, right? So, I wouldn't say a single person out there should be relying on YouTube uh, notifications. They don't work. They never have. They never will. Look at my schedule. They never, no, they never the will work, apparently. Every single day for you guys. Okay? What is it? This piece of hair. It really will look. This, this, where is it? This is it right here. This piece of hair right here. Because look, this hair, I can brush back nicely. And it goes right into place. You see that? It's a terribly what? schizophrenic segment. What is this? Stop this. I'm going to go scissors. <laughs> Dang. I need like a, a giant hair on and go, start teasing my hair in the middle of a, a fucking pre-stream here. Anyway. All right. I'm just going to ignore it. It, I, I, it is. It's like a pet peeve of mine. If I look on camera and I see hair poking out, it kind of bothers me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> your hairline doesn't bother you though, but okay. a hair poking out. So there you go. Bothers and them. I already talked about today's the last sure week thing, of September. Mr. David. The last week of September. Today's the last day of September. <clears throat> So any contributions today would be greatly appreciated. To have you <laughs> oh, dude, this is not real. And I know there's been some uh, dead air chopped up off of this video, but he spent like 23 minutes telling you how he's the fucking best and everybody else sucks ass. And now we're begging for contribution because it's the last day of the month. Which for him means that he needs to lean into the, the super chats and memberships so he can get the money as soon as possible. And he's not afraid to tell you directly that it's that way. Strong ending to the month. Um, so thank you in advance to anyone who contributes, whether it's a membership, a gifted membership, <laughs> a super chat, a super sticker, maybe a super thanks on a video. In a maybe a super suck my balls. Or a tip. All would help tremendously, and we have all new animations today. So far, you've only seen the legacy Super Chat animation. Literally, any level of tip, any level of Super Chat, you will see the new animation. So, thank you in advance to anyone who contributes, okay? All right. I got a troll Super Chat, and I'm just going to read it to entertain it, because it is so stupid. They yeah, said, so this is the, the Halloween tree. In the decoration this year, it's the worst it's ever been. Uh, I'm not even joking. It's the most low effort shit you can you can pull out of your ass for like two dollars something. It's the worst. It's just a bunch of I don't even know how to call this a bunch of trash in the corner. It doesn't even make any sense. It's pixelated as fuck. And that's not just because my stream is 720p. It's just pixelated as fuck in general. How is you putting on glasses or a vest or a hat not acting like a Muppet? So what this guy's talking about is earlier on my uh, pre-stream, which by the way, I never said Muppet, by the way. But on my pre-stream slash there podcast you go. today, I talked about- Debunked. He never said that exact word. He just called him a bunch of other words. I'm different. <clears throat> I don't play a character on my streams, right? That it's me. It's genuinely me giving you my opinions, my thoughts oh, on a game. That, that is alarming. Just constantly smacks his lips. Oh yeah, uh, lip smacks. I've, I've actually heard a lot of them to the point where it made an impression on me how much he smacks his lips. It's actually almost every other sentence is a lip smack. And they're super obnoxious. If you choose to not ignore them and actually listen to the lip smacks, they're the, the worst thing ever. When I play it, you know, I don't play dress up. I don't dye my hair. I don't put on sunglasses and a fake mustache and a fucking okay. mask to look like I'm a fucking fake reject G.I. Joe. Yeah, but you, you put on, you don't put on a fake mustache, but you put on glasses, hat, and a vest, and you're wearing neck phones. I mean, how much more things you can put on your face that are gonna make you look like a clown, if that's not enough? You know, I don't look like a cartoon character with frosted hair and shit like that. But people idiotically say things like, oh, but on your streams when you hit a, a, a support goal, you put on like a vest or hat. Do you not see the difference? Someone literally who plays a character to entertain children. Okay. To try to attract children to their streams so that they can beg their parents to contribute as opposed to someone who's now that's that's a lot of assumptions right here because i know he's talking about dr disrespect who at this point doesn't need to be pandering to kids for donations because the dude is a big shot a genuine gamer who games because they love video games and likes to share that honest experience with their audience oh then why did you stop playing video games to give us this segment because this is in the middle of the video game he was playing until now, he put it on pause, turned around, and is now telling you how much better he is than the people who actually play games. 
If you don't understand the difference between someone who actively acts up like a cartoon character to try to get children to watch their content versus what I do, you're a moron. And now we spun the entire question around just to call him a moron. And you don't deserve anyone's time. You're just a fucking idiot and you need help. Okay. And he needs help as well. He's not just an idiot and a moron. He needs help. <clears throat> All right. I got a $6.66 tip uh, from an anonymous tipper who says, cheers. And with that, we have hit 100 bucks, which means you guys get to vote on a hat. There uh, we go. Whatever hat I put on, I will voice act like a cartoon character of appropriately for the hat, right? Okay, you don't voice act usually? I'm not gonna bring up the Halloween streams because obviously people dress up for Halloween. But he does his fair share of voice acting in games that don't have it. Right. Of course. I mean, literally when people say stuff like that to me, it's like, do you not understand that when you say that, you just show how stupid you are? You, you think that watching one of their streams versus me is identical. Have you never seen one of their fucking streams where they're continuously... Acting up, acting like a cartoon, screaming, overact, exaggerating, acting like a character. And it's the only way they can get attention. Um, well, he also does that. And it's not the only way he can get attention. Because the other ways that he gets attention also make him look very bad. So I don't know why he would want to bring that up. Because when he's not acting like a character and singing banana songs and squeezing them on his face, he's begging for money, basically, and ranting about other people that are more successful than him. And those things are what gets him attention from known YouTubers that make fun of him for that. Right? Versus someone who just is being real. <laughs> you know? A little different. By the way, I was around way before any of them, and I'll be there longer than them as well. I'll be much smaller, wow. but I'll still be here. That's a massive flex, DSP. Yeah, unless the gout takes you. Uh, unless it gets terminal. Watch that gout, dude. Watch that, watch that health coin rise. Let's make that health coin... Go up 10 million percent. Let's uh, fake the market. Let's rig the market. Okay. <clears throat> now it's time to vote. That's very arrogant of him to say that he's going to be there. Just because he's here now. For a hat. So let's see. Which, oops. Which hat is RE4 best? Wow, <laughs> this is meaningful and curated. Uh oh, what was that? Everyone, thank you for being a great audience today. Yeah. And, uh, what a good audience, everybody. Sam? Thank you. And uh, thank you for your support here on the final day of September. I really appreciate that. It will help things a lot. And I uh, hope you are enjoying the playthrough. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue. Still after me, huh? And then this is the, the meaningful curated content. And I think this is a great choice for a hat because it's literally like a costume hat. It's a Viking costume hat. Coming off of that little segment about him talking about not dressing up like a clown, he's dressed up like a cartoon character. That is awesome. And it only took $100 for it to go on. Fantastic, you guys love this. This is the curated content all of you guys, all 10,000 of you guys love. 10,000 people love this. They're pushing me, oh, they're bullying me. Oh, that's some good gameplay. I should take an egg. Just eat an egg immediately. Oh, uh, yummy. It's going to crack but then it. people ah, actually have a social life. Uh, what is this in, in regards to? Well, I, I guess he expects the people that are watching him a lot to only care about him. And that's why he's going on massive segments like this. It's like he's the only YouTuber you watch and you care about him so deeply on a personal level. He's taking it like it's it's like that. Oh, I'll just drink it right out of the show. When in reality, it's just simple. It's just a dude making YouTube videos. And when he's gone off your screen, you just forget about him until he does something that makes you remember that he exists again. It's a good pick-me-up. The iris allows you to see clues that are almost invisible to the naked eye. What the... Wow, this is uh, meaningfully curated content. Let's Let's see here in the end. He was coming and he he also had this weird thing about like fake tips or fraudulent tips i'm not sure what that was about but i can check one of the clips that came out about it and then i get it like it seems like a fun fight but i need resources they didn't give me like come around we'll take a fresh perspective at it and think through so far free yet right 
So I don't think so. I think this will probably be two to three streams for us. So probably at least another two to three sessions to wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, sure thing. Um, but I am enjoying Let's go back to the Cult of Hate. The Army of um, Hate. There you go. And uh, also I saw this. The Super Salty getting super butthurt over the, the, the Tony Cannon rollback netcode thing. And I just don't care. I got nothing to say about this because I don't know the guy. I don't know what rollback is and I don't play those games. But I'm sure it's a banger video because I watched it. It was yesterday during the react, right? Yeah, it was from yesterday. He got super butthurt. That's the most pissed off he got the whole stream, I think. Uh, reveals the mystery stuff. Wait, what is this? Hey, good vibes today. Shout, Shout out to hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out. So this is DSP finally reveals the mystery stuff that's got him depressed. Gout views, YouTube playlists, and money. Gout. Shout hate. out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> I want to find out what this was. So this was five days ago. Keep in mind. Before we begin today, a couple of quick updates to give you before we get to our formal discussions for the show. Uh, first of all, was this the same day, uh, 28th of September? Was this five days ago? One, two, three, four, five. I guess today is the fifth day, so maybe. So is this after he made the Twitter apology that he's been acting like a dipshit or before that? All viewership dipped, <clears throat> engagement dipped. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Oh, I didn't. I just want to let you know this is a this is a curated throat clear. Yes, it does seem as I continue to track the situation that views on YouTube seem to be working again. Um, just to give you some perspective here, overnight, part one of my Lies of P playthrough received over 200 views, and it's you know a week and a half, well, a little over a week old, as opposed to last week that video was getting like 50 views a day. So you're gonna tell me that over a week later after the game had come out. More people are watching the playthrough than when the game was hot and had just come out. So I definitely think that the issue is fixed. It's just a matter of that. There's literally like five missing days of views that should have been on there and counted properly that wouldn't. It is what it is. Again, just to remind everyone, views are not necessarily representative of the quality of something on YouTube. I strongly recommend you check out the Lies of P playthrough because it's super good. I think the game is outstanding. I'm loving it. It's one of my favorite games of this year. I can't wait to play more today. Okay? Okay. Also, one other thing. Um, you know, I have some stuff going on personally behind the scenes that's uh, pretty serious. And okay. it may affect there it me is. again today. I just want to, you know, tell everyone these next few days, probably over this week, we'll see. Um, it may affect them again, okay? You know, this could be an ongoing... And it's pretty serious. So I don't know. Thing. I don't know. You you're feel free to, to make your vote on the, on the Snort Exchange. Now you actually can. Uh, I told you guys about this yesterday, and then incidentally, I ended up having an incredibly stressful day of streaming. Basically that day. Oh, there we go. I saw it. And he likes to pretend Fall Guys. Also, he can slam Epic Games. That that shit. That is trash. Fuck that. Fuck that. This trash. Are, are we getting an F? Oh, we should come back. I don't see any problems on the... Any noise in the line, so to say. And uh, let's see what else happened. I want to see what the Snorta Maniac has been up to. He wants fifty dollars for both streams plus gifted memberships. Oh, that was uh, way back eleven days ago, bro. Oh, I know. Memology got the he got the Street Fighter compilation, dude. He was losing so hard. He was so bad. I watched a little bit of it. He started like zero and seventeen. Oh, and he also dissed um, the Jintro champion, Jay Does Things, and his friend uh, Adlar, which is super toxic. We're going to watch that first. Right, no, so we got to stand up for Jay. So I believe this is gonna He's be standing up for Jay today. Epilogue now. I think it's a chapter 7 epilogue. So as you guys know, if you follow the show, a couple weeks ago, we had a couple wise guys who basically nominated some videos that could be considered detractor content. One of them was essentially someone who was trying to criticize my gameplay of Grand Theft Auto uh, 3. And then another one was apparently a parody video of me trying ramen noodles for DSP Tries It. 
they were both atrociously bad videos. You know, I've seen good really videos uh, kind of. I mean, a narcissist would never recognize a diss for being good. If he says it's really bad, then it was probably pretty good because it hurt his feelings. And when you hurt a narcissist's feelings, you know, you know, you're on the right track. Poking fun at me, you know, formal. This is how you don't plays that are done really well. I've seen better. Formal, much formal. Better. This is how you don't plays. How do? How does? How do you make a formal? This is how you don't play. Their parody videos. These videos were some of the poorest I've ever seen. Like no exaggeration. I, I wish I was. I was exaggerating, but they were just really low bottom of the barrel content. They weren't funny. They were just stupid. If you actually thought those videos were funny, it's because you're an idiot. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Like, they weren't well done at all. There's way better content out there making fun of me. <clears throat> so what happened was, you know, I watched those videos. And now people seem to think that, oh, well, this is our chance. Let's just make the whole show every week about Phil watching detractor content. Now, here's the thing. I'm oh, that was a robust snort. And you can see he swallowed it, too. Oh, that was uh, very high in calories. Not above poking fun at myself. If someone nominated, say, a good This Is How You Don't Play video that had a lot of, you know, making fun of me how bad I am at a game or something like that, and it's pertinent, and it's and it makes sense, and it's relevant, and it's funny. I would how is it relevant? Include what does relevant no mean? Not to, right? It needs to be a recent game that he was bad at. All these, like, all these ways he categorizes these troll videos like it's either a troll video that is dissing you or it's not <clears throat> but this week i'm not kidding you two different people tried to nominate videos all right that are outright detractor videos one if you can believe it a clip apparently taken apparently the mid 2000s so this is me at a video game tournament for street fighter before i was a youtuber and I'm sitting in a hotel room with a bunch of other, like, fighting game gamers. And I guess I was telling this story, and I've told this story many times before, all right, of when I was in college, and basically I got caught out for having a party in my dorm. But hold on, how is that a detractor video? It's you telling a story. There's nothing, there's no detractor spin on it. He's just saying a, a story that is not believable, and people laugh at him for it. And some of my roommates had had like weed and stuff and how basically the whole room got tossed by the campus security trying to find weed and other things to get us in trouble with and they didn't find anything because they were morons they were very inept on what they did la, 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 la. no i've never tried meth i told you guys i've never done any drugs but weed that's it He's done weed, you guys, but it was laced, so he slept the entire day afterwards. It was laced with crack. Acting like hard asses, and they were just really terrible at what they did. So, this story is exactly the same story that I told years later in my YouTube videos. I've told this story numerous times over the years. Um, but, uh, wait, wait, he has also denied that story happening, and he pretended that it was fake, and that it didn't exist. But now that he knows that there's footage of it, of him telling the story, he knows it exists. The thing is, this is a story from when I was like 18. Okay. Right? So I'm 41 now. You so know? how does that make you look bad exactly? And how is that a troll video? A little... Uh, we're talking, you know, a big discrepancy in time and age. I've actually lived more years after this behavior than before. You understand? So this is not representative of me today, nor is it anything I'm too proud of. Um, But when you watch this video, this is a video of me during my Street Fighter years. Again, this is like 20 years ago kind of almost bragging about it in a hotel room with a bunch of guys. We're all drinking and smoking and stuff. And we're t I'm telling this story today. What are you smoking? And a detractor, I guess, found this video on the internet randomly. Someone well, from what? the fighting community had uploaded it many Why years Why do you think it's a detractor? Ago. And they start superimposed all this hater shit on the video. What? Okay, uh, let's try and find out what he's talking about. What is this uh, detractor secret story? secret detractor video that it's not a detractor video but it actually is so dsp college story is this gonna come up i think it should oh yeah this is it this is the blooper Imagine video smoking a bone with phil and having to sit and chat with him afterward would you put up with it one time to see <laughs> and hear what would happen well i i would i would just for the experience but i would have to say dsp is the nightmare blunt rotation he's just he's he's the rotation and it's already a nightmare I don't need to put Hitler in it or Stalin 
or some school shooter in it. He's absolutely by himself. He already is the nightmare blunt rotation. Yeah, the Capcom gaming. See? So yeah, apparently this is the video, but the story itself is still, it's not cut out of context. It's just him saying a story with some captions over it. Me and my roommate both got scholarships to college. So our room was like at the corner of the, the dorm. So we had our own bathroom, like a huge closet. It was like the best. Yeah, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. It's basically some girl's boyfriend wanted to come beat him up and then the fire alarm went off and then the cops came and then the, they found they didn't find the weed because they hit it but also they didn't hide it they stepped on it it's very stupid well, you know like oh he's full of shit he's exaggerating oh you see he wants to be a man so he said this it's all like toxic shit but why do you care it's though it's you telling the story just address the story and tell it like it was and then there you go it's debunked Someone submitted this to be watched this week. I'm like, what on earth makes you think we're going to watch this? Number one, it's a video that's not pertinent. It's a story from when I was 18. It's a story told when I was in my early 20s. The video quality is atrociously bad. It's like an old school handheld camcorder, you know? And obviously, this is from an era of my life that's way in the past, has nothing to do with the present, right? And I've told the story multiple times before over the years. Stop it. And I mean that. Stop it. You guys are living in the past has nothing to do with me now and why would i watch of all things this version of me telling the story with hater comments superimposed over it you'd have to be an asshole you'd have to be really stupid to think that i was going to watch so you can call them stupid and idiots so I told them, no we're not Debunk watching that. them you can uh, nominate another video or get nothing watch it's your own fault for nominating a detractor video um i've only been to one concert ever and i didn't pay for it it was Dave Matthews Band. It was the late 90s. <laughs> and I went with my high school friends. Um, because one of them... That's a super random clip out of nowhere. I had extra tickets for some reason. I guess someone had bought I feel like we're doing Q&A &A right so now. We ended up getting tickets for Dave Matthews Band. And when we went, the entire arena was full of potheads. Like, I'm not even kidding. Everyone was fucking smoking weed in the entire okay. place. We got a contact high from being in the arena because everyone was fucking smoking weed. I mean, okay. People go to a... A, a musical event and they smoke weed how dare they they shouldn't be having fun stop having fun weed people that went to the dave matthews band concert and you wanted to smoke weed some other person how dare you this person is really dumb there's a whole like a whole little mini music video of someone dressing up like me and trying to impersonate me and oh i'm like gonna me. tell you what this is uh before we hear his commentary this is uh jay doing things with the toxic video game guy and this is the winner for our uh, that being said jintro competition because everybody loved it and it's really worth it it's fantastic so let's watch that first it's a minute long and then we're gonna hear his response to it and it actually has like nearly thirty thousand views which is awesome go get it to actually thirty thousand and then fifty thousand and then a million thousand go do it He'll bore you with his tales from the past He's gouty and his content sucks ass He stuffs his face and drinks his gin And pleads and begs for tips from his fans He spends his days spending your cash Don't call him out or your ass will be banned He's the greasiest gamer you've ever seen He whipped out his chode and wanked it on stream the king of toxicity he's the guy they call dsp and that was it shout out to jay doing things with the toxic video game guy which is an extremely well executed minute long parody of avgn uh and dsp is about to to roast this guy who is Trade DSP in the video? Than Phil's testosterone views and tips. Are they dropping? Oh, I get. Well, I get 0.1 percent drop frames, so I'm gonna take that as a, a no. Uh, so yeah, we got him. I mean, yeah. Oh, and he's uh, hold on. I skipped the best part. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see DSP's response to this, okay? Me, and essentially the whole video is just about me masturbating. 
Okay. That's not true. It's it's basically about everything. It's about him playing video games, mobile games, begging his fans, being toxic, the toxic video game guy. Okay. It's Would about many other things than the jerking off. Which, of course, is one moment that happened in my 15 years as a content creator. But but it's a big moment. You literally jerked off. I mean, what? how, how are you going to downplay masturbating on camera? When you're usually known for playing video games, how 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 are you gonna do the mental gymnastics to downplay that? And they act like this is the end all be all of who I am. Essentially well, that defined you, Dark Side Phil, for many people who wouldn't otherwise hear of Dark Side Phil. Now they heard about him, and the only thing they heard is that he jerked off. So good fucking job. Actually, this it actually for many people is the end all and be all of DSP. And they don't care about the details. They just know that and they don't care about anything else. This is the equivalent of everything that Review Tech USA does on a daily basis in like a, 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 a one minute music thing. And it's terrible. It's not funny at all. It's just all, it's like insult after insult after insult. It's literally like a, a minute montage of insults about me. Um, they act, The funny part about it is whoever they have acting as me is actually fatter than me and has a worse hairline than me. You know that people play roles because they get cast as a person that looks like the person they're acting as, you know? He's typecast to be like that. So if I tried to dress up as DSP, I wouldn't look like it. And when this guy tries to dress up as DSP and jerks off, it actually looks like it. So he did a very good job at acting like DSP and looking like him with a nice Sharpie painted goatee. And the gunner glasses that are super yellow. I love them. It's like he's going to a gun range. But they're acting like they're me. And like, oh, this is Phil. Like, no, actually, you're you're actually much heavier than me. But that's not the joke. You're much heavier than me. And you're trying to pretend like you're me. <laughs> that's not a good look. Just so you know. Really? It's not a good look. It he's just acting in a in a video. And it's not even him that did the video. That, that, that's his friend Adlar. Why is Adlar taking, taking strays? Adlar is really confused right now. He's like, what the fuck? He's like that, that 50 cent video. Why fuck me oh, for? I look at the computer, the computer say, Floyd say, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? This is Adlar right now. He's so confused. Why is he dissing me for? I was just an actor in a video. And I looked like the guy I'm supposed to act as. What the fuck? Makes you actually look way worse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Dark Side Phil is a stupid, apparently ugly, jobless, narcissistic, egotistical man child who begs <laughs> people's money just by sitting on his fat there we ass. Go. Anyway, um, it's the thing is, it'd be one thing if it was like good natured. Let's poke fun at Phil. It's literally the worst stuff you would see on a detractor video. You know, it, it is, it's a, it is really? a detractor video. It's basically something not made to, to criticize and to, to poke fun or let's laugh and let's say let's get better. It's, it's No, let's just completely degrade and insult. <laughs> it's, it's the equivalent of schoolyard bullying. Yes, yes. And you didn't get enough of it back then. So now grown people are bullying you on the internet and you have no other choice but to take it. You gotta take it. And that's really fun. So I look at the video, I'm like, why the fuck would I watch this? So I think people have a misconception, you understand, of what I'm going to watch on this show. Just because you decide to become a channel member on DSP Reacts. But I guarantee I... he's a nicer guy. Well, I don't know him, but he agreed to be in his friend's video, meaning he has a friend, and he agreed to do a masturbating face for the internet, so I believe he's a pretty chill guy. Look at him. He had to do this. This is what poor Adlar had to do. This. He had to do this. Because somebody else fucking did it. And he wanted to help his friend make a fun video that everybody loved. 30,000 people have seen the video on this page. And they loved it. And we got like, what, 10,000 views on the stream that we played it on, on the, the, the Jintro. And they loved it too. So by all definitions, including DSP's own definition of what meaningful is, Adlars made some meaningful content. I have no obligation to watch anything you submit at all. There's always been a strict no detractor content policy on all of my channels. Just because you're stupid doesn't mean that I'm going to watch your dumb video that's insulting and toxic and against everything that I stand for on the internet. It's everything so, that no, he stands for. we're not for. watching those videos. And I even said to the person, you're lucky I just don't ban you now. Oh, because wow. Obviously, this was uh, of, of malicious intent 
They would even post a video up and you think I'm going to watch it. You well, know. it threatened his uh, family. I wasn't going to watch this video. It's very <laughs> nasty. It's very know? nasty. So, Disgusting. Yeah. They say revolting things about my wife. The one thing I'm going to give him uh, some slack for is when he brings up the, the cat montage from the Secret Limited video. That was so hard hitting. It was so brutal. If that was my wife and I was seeing a supercut of people making fun of her and then like those edits with her with the slim photo just transitioning into the fat photo and how well produced it is, that would hurt my the bottom of my very soul. So I give him that. If he's hurt by that, I understand him completely. That was that was deep. Oh, uh, no, we're not doing that. All right. And, you know, again, if someone wants to post the videos on the React show that are funny or critical of me, make fun of my gameplay, you know, I'm okay with that. Especially if they're more constructive. You know, a lot of this is how you don't play videos out there. Point out. So, um, no, we're not doing detractor content on DSP React. We're just not. Uh, again. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I can play it now because it's a very fun edit. Uh, Secret Limited. It was from the list from last year, and the moment was when, well, basically Cat was, was seen in the car. Wow, this is a long time talking do you think about Adlar the... was a method actor? Uh, do, I, do I think Adlar was a method actor? He sure can. He should add this to his acting reel. Definitely should. I believe it's here somewhere, but then we start with the whole Champions thing, and the Champions thing is a big one, man. It's fucking solid. Solid gold. Uh, or is it 2021? What? Here we got Struck. Here we got Champions. Oh my god, last year was packed and this year is even more packed. God damn it. Now we're bringing up uh, Rich and their beef. Then we got the Rambo and Howard thing. Was that it? I'm not sure, bro. I'm very confused right now. I'm uh, I'm failing at curating this content for you guys. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay, there it is. Kit Kat Chunky is what the segment is called. Kit Kat Chunky. Kit Kat Chunky. Phil, you need to chill out. Relax, and enjoy number nine. My wife is a beautiful person. She's a very fun person. She's very funny, actually. And I love spending time with her off the streams. By anyway. the way, I am real. <clears throat> just for yes. all the people who don't She's real. Think I don't exist. So there you go. Make sure to sell all your divorce, divorce coin, because she is real. There you go. <laughs> but I don't think I need to say that, but I'll say it anyway. Last night I'm relaxing with my wife downstairs. Likely Cat is downstairs probably playing some Horizon because tomorrow <laughs> we'll be playing Elden Ring. Bro, this all of the edits are just hard hitting. It's just a drop kick of edits. It's a it's a stone cold stunner of edits. So my wife is playing this too. It's a Hogan leck drop of edits. And she was playing. I totally understand I'm getting butthurt over this disc because it's such a masterful disc. It's such an artistic disc that hater to hater, I, I appreciate that. DLC, my wife is playing on a PS4 downstairs, her PS4 Pro. Like I said, my wife has to work. My wife <laughs> the tiny, like, <laughs> what, what is this, an 18 inch monitor? <laughs> Stay at home all day. Yeah, we ordered some pizza from, from a, uh, a place that does this, like, pan style pizza. Pan yeah, style pizza. Oh, uh, we actually ordered pizza. If you ever acted like normal people, maybe my wife will come back on a stream. We have a beautiful private life together that we keep private on purpose, so that way people can't mess with us in regards to that. Oh, and then oh, dude! <laughs> this transition, the horror music, the sting is so climactic. <laughs> this is that point in the movie when you realize there's a boy living in the walls. That's the 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 climax. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God damn it. And now this was actually just the intro to the segment. And now we got everybody just hating. We go. We're running a train. There has been a cat sighting in the wild. Yeah, we got James the Lesser. Huge. <laughs> we got Raven. This cat got huge. Jesus, what the fuck happened to cat? King Jed. All that DoorDash and not going to the gym because can't. I don't have any money to pay for your gym membership. Uh, but as the time went, it seems like the, the tide kind of turned. And I don't know. Agreed. You guys probably don't know this guy. He's old school. He's very old school. Now, that is Cat. He's he's so old school. Back in his day, they didn't have a school. They just called it old. Things like with the, with like, you know, certain facial features, I think, that line up like really well. Things like the bridge of the nose, I think, is the one that really like stood out to me. Mm -hmm. Like going into the nose. Cat looks like she's fucking ate too many potatoes and jesus sounds like she's just on her ass all day at this point oh has this happened look at jesus look at this. and uh, of course another thing that he would get super butthurt over is that somebody took a a photo of them in the wild and that's a no-no that's something that he's terrified of what if somebody finds me in real life and they told me that they don't like me that's all neck this is neck and that's neck that's the chin's here the next that's what the oh man fuck? i i love that time and the the tire thing came close to it but not you can't get to a wild cat photo what happened to you cat? can't get to that level the picture is actually apparently taken in 2021 and that's what she looks like then how much bigger has she gotten one question i had was why the hell did it take so long for this thing to come up you guys can see the evolution from 2017. All right, not a bad looking face. 2018. Yeah. Oh, now we get this segment. I love this one. Oh, she's trying to smile, trying to cover up the fact that her cheeks are around her. Now, 2021. <laughs> uh, but then when you do look at the. Oh, man. The wedding photo and that one together, you can see the kind of jump to me, the, the, the jawline and stuff. <laughs> And now you get the slower morph. If you, in case you didn't get it the first time, you get a replay. The uh, the wedding photo and that one together. And now we just we just transition. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. Again, I totally understand him being super butthurt about it. This was over a year ago. This was taking this picture. Imagine the fucking size of him now. It was a spe well, special her. We've seen her <laughs> every day. Imagine the size of her now. Imagine the size of her now. Some guy I know on Discord, we were randomly talking about this. He's like, yeah, I took this picture of him. Like, and it looked like that dude worked at the gas station from where, from the angle that it was taken at. It was like he was coming out of like, like a thing that like an employee's only thing. Like if you look at the angle from where the picture was taken, right? This photo was taken the day he got de-partnered. On that day, he was wearing that same shirt. Oh, he got busted. You see, it's the same shirt. 75% damage, that's really bad. <laughs> hateful slurs or symbols. I didn't do a hateful slur or symbol. It never happened. Yeah, it's going great when a photo from last year on the day of the the departnering surface and that's the only photo we have that is a lot of doordash jasper is the second in the line jasper gets the best oh dude we got oh, dude i didn't even remember this guy was in this we got a pastor segment whoa whoa we got another one food why what? are you giving that cat Slice chicken and your wife has to eat uh, Burger King. How we know it's definitely cat is Phil has dropped the uh, ignore it mm -hmm. uh, ops. Mm -hmm. Ignore it ops mean whatever he's talking about is 100% true. That's just that it goes from throughout Phil history. When he says ignore it, that means it's true. Kyle Denson did a super chat and now he's talking about pff, troll drama. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I'll never care. Stop wasting my time with it.
All right? I really just don't give two shits about it, and I'm going to ignore it. Thank you. Oh, man. Look at it, how bad his haircut is. God damn it, that fade. It's so terrible. Nobody cared. Nobody should. I care. cannot believe a person has this haircut. That's that's how you handle that shit. You just ignore it. Ignore <laughs> morons on the internet. They don't exist. It, it, it attracts so much life. attention. Okay. Oh, they're a waste of life. That's a nice one. Phil is the most awkward relationship ever, at least on Phil's side. We don't haven't seen Cat for years now. Cat really let herself go. I'm mean, like, you're dealing with the most insufferable man on fucking earth here. I was finna rescue that bitch. <laughs> My sister's face is beautiful, but she doesn't know how to fucking do makeup. Oh man. We're getting even deeper. We're getting deeper. We're putting the Jenna clips in there. This is a, it, it's not a roast. It's a whole burial. It's a firing squad. Like she don't know how to do eyeliner. And like, you can just tell that because of the way she eats, whatever her diet is, she has so much fucking like inflammation. Like her cheeks are so fucking puffy and nasty looking i'm sorry that's my sister but me, me and my sister we both have high functioning autism asperger's she gets taken to a home with the perfect home with the perfect conditions for her plenty of love plenty of compassion and she ends up marrying a child no like dead ass she, me her and i were best friends growing up we got separated i don't know what the fuck happened to her Oh, man. <laughs> this would make me cry. You would think Cat eats like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that that's a that's an amazing closer, man. I love that. I love that. This segment is just gold. Let's move on to number eight. Oh, and what what's the next one? Is that? Oh, it's him going on, uh, going viral on Reddit. <laughs> My God. Oh, uh, he got super bodied. Is he in his own chat? Cause his stream is live, but I don't know if I've seen him here. Oh yeah, he says some stuff. Uh, what did he say? If I can beat all of Elden Ring and the entire Dark Souls series without it, I can beat Lies of P without it. What is he talking about? Oh, without summoning. They've been talking about, oh, Phil, man, he can't beat the next boss without summoning. Yes, I can. I can do anything I want to. Everything is challenging these days. Only Starfield is chill. I guess AC Mirage will be chill somewhat compared to the current lineup. Yeah, damn, I'm gonna miss Secret Limited. Ludwig will do well, but Secret said it's are up there with deck stroking Phil. Yeah, man, if anything makes me cry after this segment is, is knowing that we lost Secret to the terrible YouTube automated system of dog shit. Oh, they can suck a dog off, man. Let's go finish that clip. Oh, there, there's not, not much to finish. Pertinent or, or different or even well done, you know, with iota of fucking thought rather than, you know, schoolyard bullying, I'd probably watch it. But, but now I think what this is going to do is uh, it's going to enable a lot of other people to do their own videos with their own lists because so much stuff happened this year. If you're set to make in a video that only has 10 entries, you're going to miss out on some. And I'm curious to see what people's choices are going to be. Because obviously number one is the interview. You can't go around it. You got like 20 hours worth of, of content to go through just to find the, the good parts to put in that edit. So yeah, this, this year has been wild. Uh, what else we got? Some uh, Something short. Um, a, a short snort. Let's see him failing at, at Street Fighter the other day. He announces he quits playing Aki. I'm... And he blames he's too old. And his hand is presenting problems. Oh man. I guess this was a daily rap, wasn't it? Last night was Friday Night Fights, all right? I'm just going to be as dead honest and transparent. You're going to be very honest. As, as Honesty warning. I'm honest not alert. Out to play every kind of character in a fighting game anymore. I'm too old, and I don't have the reactions, and I don't have the execution to do it anymore. Maybe when I was younger, I would have been able to. I just can't do it anymore. Um, after having played with Aki for two days, I'm not kidding you. Word through the grapevine is that Sundar will be exposed by scammer payback, Carl Rock. And Jim Browning in a Municorn video soon. It took the best to get you. 
But we got you, you scamming flowers. Uh, I will restrain myself from commenting on the issue. As I've said before, there's an e investigation ongoing about Sundar and his behind-the-scenes activities. So far, I've been very happy with him being my intern, but things can change if something comes up that was very unexpected and uh, shady. Okay? Sound good. My hand last night was had crazy like <laughs> numbness and pain in these two fingers okay even today this morning i have big tenseness in all of the muscles of my right hand it's carpal tunnel i'm getting carpal tunnel i always knew i was going to get it as i got older when i go like this i feel all pain in the fingers as i stretch out my hand because i played with aki for two days and she's an execution heavy character in Street Fighter 6. And that's terrible. That's such a terrible thing. Um, so, I just can't do it. I tried. The thing is about Aki. Here, I've said about this. I like the character. She's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. She can zone. She can rush down. She can mix up. She has a little bit of grappling. She has a little bit of everything. Okay? She does have really high damage combos. The problem is, every moment you're playing with her, you need to have... Oh, there's a nice animation. Ah! Our legacy animation. I love that animation. That's really old, by the way. That animation's been around for like six, seven years, actually. Who fucking cares? Anyway, um, basically, you know, after having tried Aki for two whole days, you know, it gets to the point where it's like, I realize I just can't do it. Listen, I'm at master rank with Blanca, Honda, and Lily. Arguably, yes, they are easier execution characters. Absolutely, they are. I feel like maybe there's a class of character in this game that I can't play. Maybe the high execution, rushdown style, need to do everything really fast, giant combo style characters, they're just not for me. I just, I can't do it at this point, you know. I, I, it's sad to admit when you're getting old and or you're just not good enough at something. You have a sense of pride, like me. I've been playing fighting games since the 1990s. I played them competitively. Oh my god, this whole narrative about him getting old is so fucking stupid. And he tried to sneak in, and you're not as good as it used to be. But that's actually the main reason. You're just not as good as you used to be, dude. There's no shame in that. Here's in the 2000s, it's kind of, it's not embarrassing, but it's almost sad to admit when you have to say you're just not good enough. <laughs> I don't think I'm good enough. I think Aki is too high of an execution character for me. And... The thing is, I'm not saying that moving forward, I'm not going to try new characters. Quite the contrary. In order to get good at a fighting game and stay at a competitive level, you do need to try every character. I want to reiterate that. I've said this before, <coughs> that, <coughs> excuse me, that the reason that I've learned so much about Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is because I play with every character. I'm not good with every character, but I know basics and, and, and general strategies with each character, and I understand what they're all capable of. Oh, and there's just because so much coping, that, man. Matchups better, and I know more capable, you know. You I'm sure do... not even his actual hardcore fans care about this segment. This segment is all about him. It's all about him trying to tell you that him being bad at the game and getting stomped is not because he's bad at the game, it's because he's old and he's not as good as he used to be, you know? Do that. You can't say, oh, I'm just going to play with Blanca and only Blanca, and I'm only going to memorize Blanca, and that's it. You'll actually be at exact point. Chun-Li couldn't do it. It's not because they have... Because people were saying that last night, that there's so many players I play that are PC. There's an overabundance amount of players who play this game on PC. That's really ridiculous. He's, like, uh, he's pretty late to clocking in today. I don't know what he's about to do or he's been doing. Okay, just going to use the restroom, and then we'll begin. Be right back. This was like five minutes ago. You need five minutes to go use the restroom? Really? And again, like I said earlier, he's treating this like an office job, where you can go, he's showing up in chat, is basically him showing up in the office and being like, Hey, what's up, you guys? How has been, uh, how was yesterday? You know, yeah, you're doing good? Oh, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then he clocks in actually to work once he's used the bathroom. Because he wants to waste as much time as possible. He legitimately is looking at this as an office job. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. If you look, whenever I do a ranked session, it's like 80% of my fights are PC. And by the way, PC has an advantage over console. PC players have less input lag. 
So they all have an advantage over me. Every time I play, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm a little slow. How is it that I try to react to Drive Impact? It's hard. How are they doing it so easily, so fast? He cheated. He's a fucking cheater. A blatant fucking cheater. 100% blatant. Yeah, he is still calling uh, the night streams the night shift. He did it a couple of days ago in a, in a tweet. Oh, let's see if I can find it here. Yep, on the late shift, literally 11 hours ago. On Monday, we continue the tense, action-packed, fun. Tense, action-packed, fun. This dude speaks exclusively in buzzwords, in advertising language. As I continue on in Chapter 9 and beyond, then on the late shift, I return to Street Fighter 6 and play with Blanca at the master rank level for the first time. Oh, that's pretty crazy, dude. We're not going to waste time on morons. So. Oh, and uh, meanwhile, uh, the, the that being said channel recently hit 5,000 subs. So I would like to thank you all for being a part of this journey. We have a lot of fun with the guys talking about this goofy piece of shit. I'm glad people enjoy it. We have meaningful curated competitions that people are showing up in droves and sending us amazing stuff to watch. And hopefully everybody enjoys that. And we intend on keep doing it. And hopefully Steve is going to be 100% as soon as possible. He's going to be back. And it's going to be epic hype. Epic chill hype, meaningful vibes uh, content. So, so there you go. Fucking bitch. Okay, that was it. And he is still gone. He's not even back in chat. So we need to fill up another minute or so. Or two. Or maybe ten. Does he look up marketing techniques? Probably not, because he's worked in, like, office jobs. He knows what human resources say to people, and he's studied some stuff in, like, business school when he was getting his degree. So he's trying to imitate and emulate that, but it's not working. This is just... Alert. It just doesn't work. Don't worry about the camera in the bathroom. Uh, well, yeah. If, if we had one, then we can check up on him. Is Phil actually going to the bathroom? We need, we need to have bathroom cam. Maybe we would actually get some footage of Cat every once in a while, at least. Cheating. Maybe they do have an unfair advantage. I don't. Maybe they do. All right. But I'll tell you right now. Thanks, Sundar, for suggesting a bathroom camera. You're getting a little bit too shady, boy. The execution deal is on me. You know, I, I actually went offline. I turned off the shortcut button, so it wasn't the shortcut button's malfunction. Oh yeah, and the the whole. Uh, if you missed the beginning of the stream, the whole overtime thing that he's doing right now i would accredit that to the cat losing her job potentially or maybe getting way less shifts than she actually wanted to so she's at home basically all the time which means that he can spend time with her quote unquote all the time so he doesn't really benefit from leaving the stream early it's me I, I'm when he can he can stay like 20 minutes overtime and then the next day make a big deal out of it so people can see how professional and how good his work ethic is as he is late for clocking into his job for 15 minutes now. Because, okay, the first 15 minutes, I understand. Because it's it's like you're playing music, it's still too long. I, I don't think you should go over 10 minutes unless there's some technical difficulty. But then you just go to the bathroom. And you go to the bathroom not when you start the stream, so you can be in the bathroom while the music play. You play the music first, people gather around on the stream, and then you go to the bathroom. That's something I'm not going to understand. And uh, he's playing the Are You Ready for the Stream um, high quality pre-intro. And now he's playing the real intro. So there we go. With a little Mickey Mouse music here. Very nice. So we're going to watch this and later, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick around. Maybe I won't. Who fucking knows? You never know. One thing you know is this chill, fun podcast is going to be filled with meaningful, interactive, and curated content for you, Phil's biggest fans that love the content, and you tell them you love the content. And that's why he keeps giving you more content. Oh, please stop, man. I, I can't handle too much, co too much content. It's just too much. I'm getting content overload. Curation overdose. I can't. Please, give me a break. Too much. Created by Phil Burnell. Yeah, he didn't make this intro, but I know what you mean. And that shitty green screen from 2016 is is awesome. Never fails Hello to disappoint. Everyone. Good morning and welcome to the show. I hope you're all doing well this lovely Monday. When I say lovely Monday, I mean that it is cloudy and cool outside. Thank goodness. 
this weekend it was actually like really sunny and warm this background is so fucking lazy i can't man with this little christmas tree that's not a christmas tree the challenging game this little skull that you just put on there randomly dream uh i should feel nice and relaxed and cool i welcome you all here to the show i hope that you're uh ready for some chill halloween vibes today as you can see during the month of october we have all kinds of horror themed halloween stuff going on um and today i'd like to continue the discussion that we were actually having on the show yesterday when we ran out of time if you remember we were talking all about halloween and horror movies and candy and fun stuff and then we were like ah oh, kind of completely ran out of stuff well this is cool because now we can pick up that discussion today today i do not have much to talk about admittedly uh, you know, on this show, some days we're jam-packed with stuff. Tons of topics, you know, things going on on my streams, in the gaming world with the news. There's, like, nothing going on right now. So, not it much really to talk about, but it's storm. still going to be what an hour and a half. Is, <laughs> Just watch. We've got He's gonna fill it up. on the horizon, ready to start hitting in just a few days. You know, it, this whole month starts with Assassin's Creed Mirage this uh, coming week. And then after that, you got the Modern Warfare 3 beta. Sonic Superstars, Spider-Man 2, Mario Wonder, many other things. By the way, I skipped a few there that I know I'm not going to be able to do at this time, but games that I may actually play in the future if there is time, if time permits. So, you know, it's a crazy month. And because of that, there's really nothing being talked about right now. There's no big news in gaming. I think once these games start to come out and release and people have things to say about them, then you'll start to see big news stories and things in regards to... Uh, the gaming landscape again. So, rather than, you know, dilly-dally, what we should do is just kind of talk a little bit about, you know, my streams yesterday, how they went down. And then I think what we should do is just go into, like, a Halloween discussion, you know? Continue on, because I was having so much fun uh, a yesterday. A Halloween discussion? discussion? What the fuck is that even supposed to be? That I would like to just continue on. We're talking so, about his event anyway, and what he's going to um, play? Welcome, everyone, to the show. Today is Monday, the 2nd of October, 2023. The holiday festivities are in its full swing. I think you guys have been enjoying the past couple of days the Halloween horror-related animations. You just saw one. Uh, for pretty much every level of contribution, you will see one of those this month. The cool borders for the podcast. And, uh, you know, the lighting is a little interesting because I'm trying to match the lighting to, like... What the layout for the podcast like, oh, was definitely better blue. yesterday. Today the lighting, is, the is pretty bad, it's pretty bad, but yesterday it was competent. <laughs> I didn't do that last year. Last year I didn't have this lighting yet. But I feel like, uh, you know, ever, ever improving, right? Which is a good thing. So thank you, guys. Uh, let's talk about yesterday and everything that I did over the course of Sunday. Uh, before we jump into the schedule for the rest of the week. And then, like I said, we're just going to have a nice open discussion today about, you know, holiday stuff. A nice little so, open discussion yesterday today. Yesterday was a fun day. Actually, yesterday turned out to be more fun than I had expected because yesterday was React Day. Sundays, I do my React show. It's called it was DSP a really DSP boring Internet. React. Over on just my, my two cents. Channel, DSP it, was, it was really DSP boring. com forward slash at DSP React. <clears throat> and on that channel... I do a clip show where you guys, the mem members, hello Jasper Kitty, our first Jasper Kitty. And Jasper Kitty is here to, hello, um, to to invade everybody's show, privacy. Clips for me to watch, and I'd suggest it that since we are heading into October and Horror Month, that people should suggest Halloween-related things or at least spooky things. And indeed, they did. We had videos about crime. We had videos about the weirdest coincidences ever. We had a video about circus freaks. It was pretty cool Whoa, that's to have that crazy. stuff going on. I liked the Michael Myers video where he was dancing around like Michael Jackson and the little hybrid there. That was pretty funny. Um, so overall yesterday, I really liked the React show. I felt like if the React content that you guys submit, these clips submit, are themed towards the holidays coming up, I think these shows are going to be better than usual. Like over the course of the year, it's fun to get variety. But man, now that we're at the end of the year with Halloween and then Thanksgiving slash the big busy Black Friday shopping season, and then of course the Christmas season, there's going to be ample opportunity for new kinds of videos and content to be suggested for me to react to. Is he right? still going to do the Black Friday ad apocalypse yeah, thing? I guess he should because he did it last year and <laughs> he liked doing? it. I you guess. Want seltzer water this morning? You never had seltzer water before. Whoa, you know, that's crazy. Probably, probably wouldn't like that. And it's first that, time ever, Jasper like having that. seltzer water. No, no. He's no, going to no, make no, that no. into a short and get anyway, like 100 um, views. 
I really enjoyed yesterday's React show. Now, if you haven't seen yet, there are three parts of the show live already. What I do is I split it up into like half an hour segments. So three parts are live over on DSP Reacts. Three more parts will be going live over the course of the week, one a day. I do it that way so that way I don't overload the channel with content. Um, I hope you'll give it a look. Give the React channel a look. Maybe subscribe if you're interested and you want to be able to talk during those live streams that I do once a week. Um, now, if you become a member of that channel, number one, you get to access that stream in its entirety right now. I leave that stream archived on that channel. So if you're a member, you can watch it right away without having to wait all week to see the parts. In addition, if you're a member, you are the person or persons who uh, submit the videos for the show every week. So it's a pretty awesome thing to get that. that um, I feel like I got to sneeze. Maybe it's, you think it's Jasper? Maybe it's Dander. Maybe he needs a, do you need a brushing? If you're petting you and all of a sudden I have to sneeze, I feel like I need to give you a brushing. I think maybe you need to get some Is he expecting yeah, an answer so. from Jasper? Anyway, um, if you become a member of DSP Reacts, you can nominate the videos for that oh, show. Oh, this is such week. a weird cat right? lady moment. So please give it a look. And also, there will be more content on that channel tonight because after my late stream tonight, I will be filming the review of Scream 5, the movie Whoa. that came out last year. Shouldn't you just start from one? Rebooting slash continuation of the Stream fran Scream franchise excuse me not stream franchise the scream franchise after it had been gone for over 10 years all right so i hope that you will give that review a look later tonight over on dsp reacts and i'm actually reviewing ugh, i have a cat here in my mouth i'll actually be reviewing one horror movie a week this month it's scream 5 then halloween kills then scream 6 then halloween ends and if i have time i that's also that's a really Dr. bad C. pattern so i'm gonna be watching really a lot of bad stuff and telling you my thoughts he's watching reboots and sequels okay and trying to make sense so that of was them. was the first stream yesterday. Well, then was this in like stream trip, five? I, I don't Eyes know. P, and it was a very fun stream because I had to take on a challenging boss. It was the boss of chapter eight, which without spoilers, I'll just tell you, it's a green monster. All right. The boss, similar to the chapter six boss, had two completely different forms, two completely different health bars. And so I had to learn this so well because in order to beat those bosses, you essentially have to master the first form. So you're barely taking any damage during it so that you can handle the second form with basically all your heals, right? So it was, it was tough. It took me about an hour to beat this boss. And then we headed into Chapter 9. And Chapter 9 is really interesting because not only did I get a really cool boss weapon from the fight that is for my build and I'm really enjoying using, but in Chapter 9, even more interesting things are happening. You return back to a previous location in the game and all the enemies have mutated and changed for the worse. And I was like, gee, I wonder what the lore is going to be with this this change to the enemy types because I don't, I don't want to spoil but at this point, basically all hell's breaking loose. Every single enemy in the game has become an insane risk. Um, it's nuts. It's getting nutty. And, you know, there's 11 chapters in the game. I'm like, what else could they possibly throw at us by the end of this game? It's funny that we're in chapter 9 of 11, and the game is still constantly throwing new enemies and new challenges our way, while a lot of the other Soulsborne knockoffs have really failed and just became so repetitive. I mean, I'll be honest. Even Elden Ring failed to introduce enough new content in the late game to make it interesting. It got boring. Oh, it's an open world game, game, man. Continues to entertain even this far in. <clears throat> so I'm having a great time with it and I cannot wait for more today. That is the major stream today. So uh, this should be a good time. All right. So it was a great stream yesterday and everything went well and support was good. Like I don't have any complaints whatsoever, but I'm noticing a few things. Number one. Uh oh. I'm seeing some people say some weird stuff. Number one is, oh, so Phil's not summoning in his Lies of P playthrough. Um, <clears throat> what is he trying to do? Prove that he's, like, good at these games or something. Who said that? Except this one guy yeah. in chat who asked him if he's going to summon. It's kind of a weird attitude to have because... Why are we I even addressing this if it's a weird attitude? That up until Elden Ring, okay, it wasn't even, like, widely accepted to be summoning for bosses in any kind of a Soulsborne game, it was seen as a crutch. Like, if you can't beat the boss legit by yourself, then you summon to get past it just to get past it and continue on with the game, but that's like a last resort. Um, <clears throat> yeah, then that's that's right, why people are saying is, that then. So many people jumped onto the FromSoft-style game bandwagon no. with Elden Ring. Yo, yo, honest, this is the same guy who was bragging about beating bosses in Elden Ring earlier on because that made his playthrough valid. Remember day one when he fought the Tree Sentinel for like an hour and a half and he died like 35 times to it? And then when he beat him, the guy who you weren't supposed to beat right out the gate, 
when he beat him. He was bragging about that this made his playthrough valid, unlike those other people who didn't beat him. Come on, DSB. Those Ash summons and everything made Elden Ring way easier for a lot of people so that they could continue to play it and eventually beat it. Without those summons, they probably never would have beaten some of the tougher bosses in the game. So it became a crutch for them and a commonplace thing. But while that happened, it almost became mainstream, like, expected that you're now going to summon for every boss. Why do but you care about I've what those people think, dude? One, then I went Why are you so insecure? Why do you care so much about what people on the internet think about how you're supposed to play video games? Just play video games. Back it's video games. Played Demon Souls, right? Like, I've gone back and played all of these numerous times. And Why is he being such an insecure you know, little I bitch? I sucked at them at first, but over the years, I've gotten better and better Just at them. Right? them. And now, I find it more entertaining, more fun, challenging, and rewarding to go into a game like though. Lies of P and play it straight up. I know there's a summoning mechanic. The pool of summons is there right outside of every boss door. I get it. But I would much rather go in there and take on that boss and beat it legit than go with a crutch, you know? Especially because I haven't really run into any boss yet that has been such an unstoppable wall. I mean, the hardest boss so far was King of Puppets. And even that, I mean, it took me two hours to beat him. I've taken way longer than that in FromSoft games before. So for me, this is like not a big deal. Maybe for some people it is, you know? But for me, it's like, nah, this is normal. And the funny part is, of course, among my hater watchers, who are just complete idiots, they, of course, oh, we love Lies of P because the game is absolutely destroying Phil. And we love seeing him lose a lot. And then we make fun of him. It's like, but what are you talking about? Did you, did you, have you ever watched any other person play a game like this? I'm just curious. <clears throat> because I have. I've watched many other people play games like this. Okay. Um, in fact, I've watched people of various skill levels play games like this. I've watched newbies. I've watched people around my skill level. And even the pros, people who, like, they play these games all the time. Okay. They get paid to play these games. They get promotional trips out to You get paid to game. play all They're games, the DSP. the gamers and streamers who play FromSoft stuff, okay? I've watched everyone. <laughs> oh, wow. For example, Triumphant snort. there is no one who on their first run is steamrolling Lies of P. No one does that. Okay. Literally not a single content creator, streamer, player. Again, we jump onto the extremes. We're not talking about steamrolling them. We're talking about dying over and over and over again and people putting that into compilations of how much you fail and how much you cry about it. There's a big difference between steamrolling a game and failing miserably. Steamrolls these games. They actually all get their asses beat the first time and it's on purpose so that way it's a legit first time playthrough. You learn the patterns. You learn how the game plays, right? Now, if you're one of these pro players who, this is your forte, what you do is you take all that experience of getting your ass beat the first run. And then when you do your second run, you say, okay, this is gonna be the dex build run. Okay, this is gonna be the level one run. Okay, this is gonna be the run where I really focus in on just using the arm cannon or whatever, right? Because they went through legit the first time and they learned everything, now they can go through, and yes, the second run, the third run, they start to dominate the game where now they can really beat it easily. That's the run I never get to, because I don't do that. I'm not, you know, one of those people who goes crazy uh, to that level. I like playing these games once, legit. Maybe, you know, in the future, if you guys ever want me to go back and do a completely different style of run, like, for example, I'm doing a dex run, but maybe you'd like to see me go back and do a giant weapons run, which I haven't used any giant weapons in the game, and there's some really interesting ones. There's like a giant wrench and a giant charged club, and maybe I could try those out, but I'm not doing that this run. You know, this is just my legit first run. I go dex, which is technique they call it in this game right um and i'm enjoying it so it's funny because again all the things that get thrown my way the stupid thing well why you know what does he think he's a try hard good guy uh, he's so good at these god games. i hope his super chats are low this week um same i guess because he doesn't summon i don't hope he gets much positivity because uh, no. he's not very positive he actually gave a super thanks i don't know dude i don't know i haven't really heard about him giving super thanks or whatever but I've kind of never really cared about OIC because all he wants is for you to care about him, so I don't. There you go. He just kind of exists there, and nobody really pays him much attention because they know he's just all about the cloud. All about the gout cloud.
No, summoning was never a part, an accepted part of these games until Elden Ring. I'm going to continue to play these games how I always have. I'm not going to change my play style and start How about you play video games how you want and you just shut the fuck up and just play video games? A challenge. I how about we do that? I in overcoming a boss legit head up fighting than getting a crutch right away. It doesn't make sense. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you're just going to summon every boss, aren't you? No, I'm not summoning at all. Well, you see, Phil's getting destroyed. No, I'm not. If you take a look at my contemporaries who are playing this game, they're all doing around the same as me. Oh some are doing God. better, some are doing worse. But I'm not doing any worse, like massively worse than anyone else playing. What on earth are you even talking about? They just make shit up. And it's disturbing. <laughs> Cause these people Bro, nobody goes out to do research about how people are playing fucking video games because they just play video games that's it they don't talk about playing video games for an hour and a half every day they just play video games so it's not that deep for anybody else but phil believe it they're actually nuts they just spin these weirdo narratives in their heads and they believe it because they don't actually look for context they just say shit and then all just propagate it in a circle like this you know <clears throat> they're nuts but anyway i'm having a great time with the game you, you want to know what i'm really enjoying are ready for this no fucking death counter because you want to know the reason the death counter ever existed or let me guess for trolls to look at his death and make fun of him for how many times he died to somehow placate my hate watchers there we oh, go. Oh, you see, because Phil's counting his deaths, and he has so many deaths, he sucks. You know what? When I'm just playing the game and focusing on let's win, and each loss, each death doesn't matter, right? Deaths don't matter in any of these kind of games. In a I agree. I agree, but here's the thing, Phil. Now this segment shows people that you really care. And once you really care, when people troll you on the internet, they're going to keep trolling you. So segments like this can happen again and again and again. And the only people hurt from this is DSP. The only thing hurt from this is his ego. I'm so, uh, and it always fucking works. Soulsborn, FromSoft, non-FromSoft, whatever it is. Deaths don't matter. Because the whole point is you're going to die a lot. What matters is do you overcome that death and continue on or do you keep hitting the wall? I haven't really hit the wall at all in the game, right? There's a few times I kept falling in the one area and died. Like I said... Definitely the King of Puppets boss was the roughest one for me so far. Yeah, Romeo, the puppet man. But the death counter serves literally no purpose. It proves nothing at all. It, ser it doesn't entertain anyone but people who are toxic. And I'm so happy that I put my foot down this time and I said, I'm not doing that anymore because I'm not- oh, wow, he put his foot down. That's some real authority not having a uh, death I'm counter. I'm game at my own pace to overcome the challenges and to have a good time. That's what it's all about. If I have to sit here and update a counter every time I die, you've missed the point of gaming. What's the point? Why not just do a death counter in every game? Wow, Super Mario Brothers. Every time you step off a fucking ledge, oh, you got death counter. What are you, an idiot? Yeah, you are. If you actually think that has any meaning, you're a moron. Oh, that doesn't have meaning. It's not meaningful now. Meaning has completely Larry. consumed his existence. His entire life is now about I've meaning. Tons of people play these games. How do you think I beat it myself? That shirt is so unflattering on a pasty, balding old dude. <laughs> I love this message, dude. I love this. Is this exactly what I would do? He would talk about something that I would pause and just say something about his t-shirt. And now that you said something about his t-shirt, it brings attention to how bad his fucking t-shirt is. It looks like it's it's not second hand, but like fourth hand. You took two hours on a boss. Terrible. Newsflash, some people took five hours on that boss. Okay. And they're be better than me at the game. Okay, they're better than you in general, most probably. But the problem is you're the only one reacting to it this way. And that's why people are going to keep roasting you for it. And that's why you're going to keep reacting to it. And then it's a it's a circle. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So fuck off. I love okay. when idiots say shit like that in my chat. Oh, you took two hours. Yeah. Yeah. And so did everyone else. But you're not watching anyone else. All you want to do is sit here and crap on me unfairly. I'm the unfair. Oh, you everything. What are you, you going to do about it? Then compare me to someone else, you piece of shit. What are you going to do about it? Do it. You're too lazy to go see oh, that I'm actually it not horrible. It proves how much you suck and fail to grasp basic mechanics of a game. That too, yeah. Game. I'm not great, but I'm also not the worst. And even when he's like mediocre, like what, what he's talking about right now, he's giving us reactions that makes us keep saying that he's trash just so he can get butt hurt. First, I'm actually... And like, what is this putting my foot down going to result into? Somebody getting banned in his chat? Why is he acting like he's going to execute him publicly? You're just getting banned in some dude's chat.
decent. I've gotten better at these games over the years. Oh, he's That's so why curt. I enjoy them so much. Don't you think that if I really sucked at this game, I wouldn't be enjoying it? But the fact that I'm able to play an ultra hard game and persevere and learn its mechanics, look at what I'm doing. Compare this game run to like my old Dark Souls runs. I'm learning the parries, I'm learning dodges, I've used multiple different weapons and upgraded them and learned their different skills and trees. I'm using smart upgrading in the P-Organ menu. I'm using all of the elemental things like fire or electricity or extra stun. I'm using all of the elements of He's the He's using all of the mechanics, you guys. Please tip him. Things I used to just ignore. One of the biggest criticisms I used to get was Phil just kind of bashes his way through every game. He doesn't really understand the mechanics or take the time to learn it. He just flubs his way through. That's not what I'm doing anymore. Now I'm actually trying to become educated on the games I play and, and play them at a good level, you know? And I like that. It's more entertaining when you learn all the things that the game has to offer rather than ignoring dude, half of them. Dude, dude, this is your fucking business, your job. In 15 years into your job, you're proud that you're take, making the bare minimum it, the actual bare minimum is trying to be decent at a game. You're playing for entertainment of other people. You deserve no respect. You don't deserve a fucking pat on the back. What do you think he, he deserves? A fucking medal for trying? 15 years later. Well, good fucking job, right. Phil. Good job. So I'm happy that he's I'm learning you guys. Another 15 years, he might stop uh, lip smacking and clearing his throat right in the mic. Just give him another 15 years. Doing that. And there's no point to me listening to the nonsense of the white noise morons who don't have a point. They literally don't have a fucking point about anything. Every time that they try to say, well, Phil's wrong, well, why is he wrong? And then they have nothing to say. Do you listen to him? They don't. He's wrong just because he's dark side Phil. What? And that's who does this? Who, who does this? Point me to the person that does this. The meme. Well, guess what? Your meme is bunk. You're a moron. Everyone who, who propagates that meme without being able to justify it is actually a completely idiotic person who's not worth listening to. And I'm not listening to you anymore. So Liza P has been great. He's not me. listening to you guys anymore. Stay tuned for this exact same segment tomorrow at this same time. Just show up and it's going to happen. I promise. I'm not listening uh, to any of the nonsense. Are those no struggle in game? Won't state who though. I'm pretty sure there's some people that struggled in it, but it's it's not a big deal. You know, it's a game that you struggle in. But he makes it a big deal by over exaggerating this Don't reaction get so much. Ever coming back, I'm actually pretty darn good at the game. Not great, but not bad. And I'm doing good, and I'm enjoying it because of that. And I can't wait for more. No, I'm not going to start summoning out of nowhere. Um, nor am I going to care about these idiots who say, "Oh, you took two hours on a boss." Yeah, and everyone else took more. So what the fuck? Are you talking Who's about everyone right? else? So he's better right. than everyone else. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. Yeah, that way to go, Phil. You're much better than everyone else. I'm sure this guy that took four hours on the boss didn't do this. And his stream was by default more interesting and entertaining than yours. So, there you go. Um, But anyway, I had a great time with it yesterday. I really did. Every time I play this game, I'm having a great time. Even when it kicks my butt and I fight a really tough boss, I'm still enjoying the game a lot. So, it's awesome. So, now let's talk about the schedule for the rest of the week, shall we? Oh, uh, let's <laughs> skip the schedule for the rest of the week, shall we? Good. And uh, I'm uh, excited for that. He's excited. Goes. Remember, Starfield is my late night chill stream. It is fun. It is relaxing. It's an opportunity for us to have a lot of conversation outside of this podcast. And that's why I really like it. Unlike Street Fighter or Lies of P or this new Resident Evil DLC, which is so challenging. I got to be concentrating at every moment. With that game, I can really sit back and relax and have a good time with you guys. Okay. Then on Wednesday, it'll be more Lies of P paired with yet another late night master stream of Street Fighter. I'm not sure what it'll be, but likely if I have a good time with Blanca tonight, I'll probably want more Blanca on Wednesday night is what I'm thinking. Um, as for Lies of P, again, I don't know how much longer I have in the game. We're in chapter 9 and apparently the game has 11 chapters. For what I'm being told, chapter 10 is quite short, but chapter 11 is really, really long and challenging. So maybe we'll be Liza Are P this we week. really maybe back on this? And that's okay if we don't. Oh my we don't god! Need separate ways DLC on That's Tuesday, what I wanted to fucking skip. And we're back on that's talking all about okay. it. All right. The god one major it, release Phillip. coming out next week fucking is Assassin's dumb Creed piece of shit. Yes, we'll be playing that. But I'll be playing that too. There actually are no giant, big games coming out until like the middle to second half of October. So we'd still have like an entire week to week and a half to really focus in and finish up all these playthroughs. <clears throat> And that's a good thing. 
So, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. All right, good stuff coming up this week for sure. I'm not here I'm excited on Thursday. Too. When I come I'm back bursting on Friday, with excitement. that's when we're going to do the premiere of Assassin's Creed Mirage, and that'll be paired with Friday Night Fights. And then we'll probably balance Assassin's Creed Mirage with other games over the week and finishing up the games that need to be finished that are kind of lingering. All right? Cool. Now, I see people asking ridiculous questions. Like well, what? what about Aki and Street Fighter Six? I already explained them. Oh them. no, I he explained. You didn't Could watch the six the, hours the of explanation, you fucking go idiot. Characters I'm good with. He already what told you. Cyberpunk? What about Cyberpunk? I told you guys years ago I'm never going back to Cyberpunk. So just because you come on my stream and you ask me every day, what about Cyberpunk? I'm going to give you the same answer. No, I'm not um, playing Cyberpunk yet. Why not? Okay. He refuses right. to elaborate though. And and again, it's another point where something failed once. So it's physically okay. incapable so, of redeeming itself. You can't you can't get better with time. Only Phil gets better with time. Once you fucked up, you will forever be known as the person who fucked something up. Can't wait to see Derox say I am excited for these upcoming games. Are you too? Uh he's definitely gonna say that, and he's gonna say that he's excited for the for the tier list that he made Phil. Because yes, now Derek is making tier lists for Phil. I'm excited for the content coming up this week, right? Yeah, I hope you are too. Um, all right. Outside of that, as I told you guys, there's really nothing else going on in the realm of news or anything like okay. that. Okay. So Time to end like the podcast. Is uh, very briefly just do a plug segment. Then we're going to do a little bit of a shout out because I have one a plug shout segment. Out. And then what I'd like to do. The plug is segment is basically a sponsored segment because he takes probably even more time than people usually sponsored uh, doing sponsored segments on podcast because they just read the ad and then they carry on and this dude is like hey you guys you tell me i'm amazing i am amazing you guys are also amazing so please give me money for like 10 minutes straight open up discussion to open discussion you guys can tag me and ask me whatever you want and hopefully we'll get back to the discussion we were doing yesterday, which was very it's fun. It's not begging. We were talking about it's plugs. Halloween and horror and candy and all kinds of fun stuff. And we ran out of time. And I was like, oh, it sucks. I would have loved to keep that conversation rolling for the podcast. And How long like, are you going to talk right? about Halloween until it happens? Right, so, like every day? Ladies and gents, as you guys know, I'm an independent creator and a content curator. What that means is <laughs> what that a fucking I joke. for a specific audience on what the What a fucking meme. For the what a fucking meme. Or do I expect that? You can see how proud he was to say it. Let's get an instant replay. Creator and a content curator. What that means is that I make content. And every single day from now on, he's going to explain to you what a content curator actually means. And for a specific audience on the internet, I'm not making content for the masses, nor do I expect that my yes. content would appear. The masses are not interested in lol cow content. That is absolutely correct. Appeal to a wide stream YouTube audience. I have a, an audience. A well, wide that stream. Is established. I'm a 15 year YouTuber. They love what I do. They love what I stand for. What do I stand for? Being Balls. independent, being honest, being truthful and being loyal to my audience that every piece of content that I put out will be meaningful and actually transparent and, and truthful. Not that I am So team. many fucking buzzwords. So many buzzwords. Oh, man, demons. this dude is lost it. Like his brain is fried. To advertise a product or shill something to you. You are and the I'm product. Going to say something is good because I'm getting paid Piece for it. Shit. On the flip side uh, of that, the that guys look more dead than the skull in the back. That's what I'm talking about. He's completely fucking cranked out. He's gone. There's no bill left. It's just DSP, and his brain runs exclusively on gin and gotcha pulls. And it's fucking crazy. He's losing his mind every day. Actually, say that something is much worse than it really is for clickbait views and attention. Oh my god! I do none of that stuff. I have very limited amounts of commercialization and advertisement in my content. <laughs> on a live stream like today, at most, I'll take one ad break. And let me tell you, YouTube wants me to take tons of ad breaks. They want to automate this stream so that every 20 minutes, five minutes of ads run. I yeah, no, that no, off. that that's Why? not how life Because works. I want my content to have meaning to Come you. On. And if you're bombarded well, with fucked. advertisements and paid shilling, you will never get any kind of true meaning out of my content. See? <clears throat> wow, now, this is I've been wild. For 15 years for one reason. You. Because you have all been supporting me through this journey. For me to be something different. I am really lucky 
to be able to still be true to who I am and what I stand for being a content curator because a lot of other people over the years had to change. They had to sell out. They had to completely oh, commercialize man. their content. They you should have done that too they now, did. boy, because now you're at bottom of the barrel and I'm sitting here drinking a fucking beer and laughing at the fucking parody of existence that your life has become. What a fucking joke. Only because they make a buck doing it. They have giant product placements I'm in their breaking. content because that's how they have to get by. For me, I don't have to do that because of you. Thank you for allowing me to be different and to be true to myself. Because if I had to be a paid shill all day long, I probably would hate what I do for a living. And I'm glad that I don't answer to anyone and instead I can just be honest and transparent and truthful with my audience. If you like this content because of that and you wanna see this content continue, please support the stream in one of the following ways. Super the disgusting. Easiest. And most instantly, you know... Honestly, honestly, I prefer the outright begging to this. This is the worst, and it keeps getting worse somehow. I, I can't even comprehend it right now, how bad these plug segments used to be. Because at some point, he just mentioned, I'm a crowdfunded individual. That was like a year ago. And everybody was like, oh, that's a, that's a funny thing to say. And now he's like, I'm a crowdfunded individual, independent content creator, and a content curator. And here's what that means. It, I, just outright insanity. Uh, what I'm watching this is, is too insane even for Dark Side Phil. You know, let that sink in. This is too crazy even for this dude. And I've watched probably like 2,000 hours of this dude. Or at least, I don't know, I might have put out 2,000 hours worth of streams or videos on this channel of this dude. And I probably watched a thousand more of this dude. And this is too insane even for him. Oh, not challenging way to do that. Because this is not for you. I mean, not for the general audience. This is his therapy session. And him coping with 15 years that he's lost eating fucking burgers and sitting on his ass while everybody else was grinding and now they're somewhere and he is on level one is by engaging with the content whether that means you give a like to this live stream today because you're and now he's just like begging yourself. for likes whether that means you like a video that you're watching on demand because you like it may that means you're talking sees as what makes him different and positive is what 99 percent of the planet sees as narcissistic disgusting and sad What's crazy is that he sees it the polar opposite, and has conned his dents and himself into genuinely believing all of it. Well, it, it definitely... Th that's absolutely true, but it definitely has taken him some time to get to that place where he truly believes in his bullshit. Because it starts with, you know, with a little bit. It's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a crowdfunded individual. Can I call myself like that? Well... Yeah, when you think about it, I am a crowdfunded individual. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a crowdfunded individual. Then we take it a, 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 a higher level. Then we try and make it, you know, those people that take sponsorships, put ads, they're not genuine. I am. And then we take it even higher. I am a content curator. All those other people get fucked. I'm the real deal. With me on a stream or leaving a comment on a video. As simple as that stuff sounds, and as fast as it is to do, it helps the channel. And you'd be surprised how many people don't do it, because they don't think about it. They don't think, oh wow, a like or a comment on this video will help Phil. A like or a... Or, or it's not begging, it's just observation awareness. Oh yeah, he's raising awareness yet again. Uh, and the, the thing that was great with this... We have reached a point of no return. Well, that's been a while ago, but now it seems to be spiraling out of control much and much faster and faster with every day. Uh, but the thing with the likes that I've noticed is when I see a video that is genuinely impressive and, and gets a reaction out of me, I would just like it just because I'm going to help the channel. But with this dude, it's like he thinks it's something above that. It's something that, oh man, it's going to help him so much. Talking with Phil on this, this stream will actually help. If you did that and all the content I did, I would actually have way more priority on YouTube to be found. But it's not something people think about all the time, nor is it something that I bring up all the time. So I want to bring it up at least once a day on this podcast. Please engage with the content. It helps a lot, all right? Now, if you'd like to go above and beyond and you'd like to contribute in some way other than just engagement, there's many ways you can do so. You can do a super chat or a super sticker during a live stream, or if a video is eligible, you can leave a super thanks Can you do a, a tip? These How are do ways you tip? Get what what is a tip? In the chat of the stream or 
in the comments of the of the video. I'll actually highlight your comment and like it and say thank you personally if you. Everybody's been asking, "Hey Phil, how, how can I tip you? I want to send you a PayPal contribution." Stream, do a contribution like that during a stream. If you become a member of the channel or gift memberships to the channel, this helps a ton. Members get so many benefits, including emotes. Unlimited access to the chat, meaning you don't have to abide by slow mode rules on a live stream. A cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter. And you'll get special priority for events. Right now, we've got a Halloween event coming up on October 31st. And people are nominating games for me to play during that event. If you're a member, you get to nominate twice. Once in the open thread and once in the members only thread. And members specifically will be selecting multiple games for this event. So awesome privileges if you become a member if you'd like to help out the community at large maybe you just like the vibe in here and you're like I'd like to help everybody out if you give some memberships to the channel it helps everyone and I'm sure people would appreciate getting some gifted memberships so consider doing that today as well thank you Dave is going full cult he's given himself a grand kitten and a guiding purpose a grand title and a guiding purpose you know what, what when, when I think about it like that it actually makes a lot of sense and I've, 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 I'm sorry, I've always said that he uses certain cult tactics, but he's not as charismatic enough as, say, somebody like David Koresh or Charles Manson, who can actually reach out to you. He only appeals to, as he calls it, a curated audience of people who are very susceptible to this kind of manipulation. But now he really gave himself a title. He actually fucking did. And it's the content curator. He called himself like that. And, and the guiding purpose is to put out meaningful content that you guys will love. And, and if you say that you don't love it, then you're getting banned because you're obviously not a true fan. True fans always love it. Now, the final way you can contribute, and in some ways the biggest and best one, is by tipping me. Why is tipping so important? The biggest and best on one. Stream, or, if you're watching an on-demand video, there's a link in each video, you can do it This next. is just begging with extra steps. Call Sir Moist. This is just begging. There, there's no other way to justify it. I would rather watch somebody plug a shitty product that I would never buy than watch this. Because at least I know they've been paid to do that. Somebody paid them to take up their, their content, the, some space in their content to promote a product. I understand that. It's my choice whether or not I choose to skip that segment because I don't find it interesting. But with this dude, he's plugging in himself. He is selling himself. And he can't possibly be objective about himself because not many people can be objective about themselves because, I mean, you like yourself, obviously. You want yourself to do better, so you want to present yourself in a better light. Too. Um, that's a direct contribution to my PayPal. And there's multiple reasons why the tips are so good. Number one, I get it immediately. I can put a tip towards something important literally right now that I need to put it towards. Number two, those tips have less of a percentage taken out of them than any other contribution. So it's great no matter how you contribute, but yeah, tips actually are a little bit better. And the thing is, especially with this month coming up, I've got probably five to six games that I've got to buy outright. I've got to get subscription services. Like I'm thinking about getting Ubisoft Plus to get Assassin's Creed Mirage. Rather that costs like 15 bucks, dude. Don't, don't you dare bring it up than buying that game out just a single one minute man daily twenty dollar tip covers that subscription for a month literally don't bring it up just just don't that's pathetic right i understand games that are seventy dollars but this is an over eight minute segment on views likes comments and most of all money every single one of these he literally denounced yesterday when he said he did this because he loves it and doesn't care about anything like that Yep, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about! Because, of course, he's a man of semantics. Once you, if you bring that up to him, he's going to find a million and one ways to justify how him doing it is okay, and everybody else doing it is toxic. With all this cost coming up, tips help tremendously right now. And so, I've laid out some goals for, in general, what I'd like to be hitting for growth on the channel. First of all, I've been trying to maintain 650 members. It hasn't happened. We keep getting it and then losing it and then getting it and then losing it. So earlier this week we had it and I said, oh, the, then the members goal for this week should be 675. And now we've dipped down to only 628. And it's like, well, what can you do? 
members gain, members expire. There's nothing you can do about that. I would like to hit 640 members if possible by the end of today. That would be tremendous if we could do that. So think about becoming a member or maybe gifting some memberships to the channel. Now, tips. My goal is very simple. I want to hit the tier one tips goal every stream this week. Okay? Day stream, night stream. I want to hit that every stream. <clears throat> if we have a stream where we go above that, that's superb and that helps out overall for that day. So then there's not that much of a concern if I don't hit it, say, on the other stream that day. But that would help a ton right now. That's, you know, helps me to buy everything, pay bills, go grocery shopping, everything I need to do. That's what the tips is really there for, all right? So please consider contributing in one way or another. Now, I just got a question in the chat. Did I ever consider selling merch, signing merch, doing things like that? Can't do anything with merch. Years ago, I used to have a merch store. It lasted almost five years. Never had a problem with it. All of a sudden, one day it gets shut down. When I ask why, the business ghosts me. Come to find out, this was about two and a half years ago, my hate watchers banded together and in a concerted effort started sending dozens to hundreds of complaints um, to every company that I was doing. Excuse me? With. How did he find that out though? How does the come to find out moment happen? How? How? When they ghosted him? Basically telling them- So he found out throughout a third party that is probably somebody who likes him. That I was an awful person. They started sending out of context clips from things I did over 10 years ago on YouTube saying that I was a racist, a sexist, a bigot, a horrible person, and I didn't deserve to be part of their company and they shouldn't associate with me. And a lot of companies actually cut ties with me without ever telling me why. They didn't even have the balls to say, yeah, here's bro. what's going on. Let I'm me tell you something, brother. You're a brand risk, Phil. You are somebody that nobody wants to work with. And you're not even worth signing because you don't make them a lot of money. Because, like, look at Logan Paul. The dude is a fucking sociopath. He scammed everybody who he could ever scam. And he took massive advantage of his fans to get where he is now. But he makes mad amounts of money. He prints them like they coming out of his ass. So everybody's willing to take that brand risk and sign with him. And get him in the WWE because he makes a massive amount of money. And DSP is broke as fuck. His content is trash and he's a brand risk. Well, enjoy obscurity. Enjoy being blacklisted and get fucked. I only found this out because someone who actually works at Twitch told me. They whistle blew. They contacted me and showed me the evidence. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, right. Wow. Now I know why. I'm not the Whistleblower program, right? at Twitch. But it's kind of messed up to all these companies DSP over the years. Spring. Uh, yeah, well, Teespring was sad. ...have changed. They knew who I was. He did nothing wrong, they dude. They know my past and that I've changed for the better, but instead they want to punish me for things I did 10, 15 years ago as if I just did it yesterday, right? Like, there's no way that a human could ever grow or... Well, if there's a, a big amount of, um, of an uprising against you, it doesn't matter when you do it, you're still going to get your cheeks clapped. So don't get surprised it happened. Because I'm sure many, many, many people send a bunch of clips to Twitch. And at some point, they're like, okay, dude, this guy is toxic. Improve over time. It's like, it's fine if he, he does a Chicky Chang Wang and somebody, like one person, sends the clip to Twitch. They're going to shrug it off and nothing ever happened. But imagine hundreds of people sending a bunch of clips and tweets and segments and tractor videos. You don't want to mess with that. That's bad for business. I get punished for it. So anyway, since then, two and a half years ago, um, <clears throat> I essentially have not had... The opportunity to make merch because anytime that they're going, oh, should I do it? Well, what's the point? Any one of these companies can easily just again be mass bombarded by my haters and be told that I'm a bad person and they're so moronic, they'll just believe it. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, obviously that's not worth anyone's time then, correct? Now, I've been asking over the past year. Now, I think would be a good time to maybe get back into it because I've rebranded. I no longer have He's a rebranded associated with me that I used to. I'm a different person. He's no longer the king of hate. He's just hateful now. I've completely changed all those That's things That's off-brand. So now, people can't try to make those associations. Like, tell me one thing I've done in the last two years that has anything to do with what you're talking about, right? Um, Lavinia rant where you called people a waste of life, uh, meaning, uh, what was it, worthless humans. After that, when you talk about depression, you said you're the definition of a waste of life. That's a direct quote. Uh, he also said, if you're gone tomorrow, nobody would care. That's pretty fucking hateful. And I don't think that represents anybody's partner network and partnership uh, program. But now I ask around, hey, do you guys know of a merchandise company that would be able to 
make merch and not basically bend over when people complain about stuff I did 10, 10, 15 years ago. And no one could tell me anything. There was one merch company that was recommended. I contacted them. I actually sent them a email. And I said, here's the deal. Here's who I am. Here's the, the, you know, the level of popularity I have. I have fans that want merch. But, you know, this is what happened. If he really wanted to, he could take pre-orders on items, then have them made himself privately on one of those sites, and then ship them out himself. But that's too much effort for Phil. Uh, He's yeah, too busy. The, the, the shipping out thing is, is the big deal for him. But there are sites that just make everything for you. He's just banned from them. I have this hater group following me around on the internet. The and hater no group. Where I go or what I do, they just keep trying to ruin opportunities for me. You know, well, would you be willing to look into this and or could I should I make an account on your site or whatever? They just ghosted me and never responded. You know, <laughs> so that's what I mean. It's he wrote like multiple paragraphs to some company that prints T-shirts, and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, we better put that into the into the spam filter. He sounded like a Nigerian prince scam. That's the problem. I need to find a business that's not going to just kind of puss out because a bunch of my haters come and send them whiny emails. You know what I mean? I don't know if it exists. In the day, in the modern era of cancel culture, right? I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. If it He's been canceled. It's sad. Because He's never what have coming I back. Done to deserve that kind of treatment. <laughs> I was with Teespring, which is now Spring, for almost five years. They reached out to me. They designed merchandise for me. I me. Didn't, they were making shirts and things for me because they wanted me on their site. They had personal designers working with me and they made two or three of my early shirts and everything. They knew who I was. They knew my history. They were okay with it. Over the course of five years, their whole culture changes and then they kick me off the site with no explanation. Wow, what a great business, right? And you can hear Jasper's bell in the background. So Jasper is there. Anyway, if anyone has recommendations of merchandise companies who be willing to work with me, just make your own. I'd love to hear it. Please send it my way. But outside, I haven't really gotten any good suggestions. Like I said, I'm not going to waste everyone's time making art, you know, or having people submit art, designing products on a site just to have it shut down within a couple of days. I mean, my haters, let's so. be honest, Phil. Your your designs have never been high quality or worthwhile, so you're not. We're not really losing much. Nothing of value is being lost here. No, I'm not going to bother with that, all right? <clears throat> <sighs> anyway. Anyway. There you go. So that's let's do some Q&A and, and wrap this shit up. Because right someone asked a question. Okay, I would love to. I was, I was actually thinking this year would have been a great year around the holiday season to launch, you know, some merchandise because I haven't done it in years and years, you know? Morons. What can I say? Okay. Um. All right. Let's do some shout outs, shall we? We start off with Zender Taker, who did a $10 super chat and says, Lots of love. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for entertaining us. Uh, you're welcome, Zender Taker. I appreciate Dude, we get a meaningful comment. Thanks for being meaningful, Phil. Remember, Lots guys, of love. Remember, I love you. Please marry I, me. That's, that, that's supposed to be a Z. If uh, any level of contribution will now have. Cancel uh, culture equals being held accountable for his scams and racism. Yeah, cancel culture is when people call you out on the bullshit you do, and they make it public, and they raise awareness to it. That's what canceled means. Front of shirt, 6 million. Back of shirt, that's an interesting number. You know, that is a, that is a pretty catchy design. Because if you see somebody just from the back, and you read that's an interesting number, and you're, you're going to start asking yourself questions. So you're going to be interested in what is actually in the front. So that's a good design. Let's make it happen. Uh a fun Halloween animation associated with it. Any level of super chat and any level of tip, right? So, uh, get into the holiday mood, right? Uh, Mozzie just did a super chat. It says, hey, Phil, yesterday marked 10 years since you played GTA Online for the first time. That's how I found your channel. I still love to rewatch those vids. Oh, you remember the disaster that was GTA Online at launch, right? Like, at fir the first few days, the game didn't even work. You were lucky to even get in, and if you did, it would just crash right away. And then, originally, when you first started playing it, it was so bare bones. There was really nothing going on. The physics didn't even really work right. And initially, I hated it. Now, I went back many months later, and I tried the heists. And I thought the heists were okay. Like, the first major heist was kind of entertaining. But once the heist was over, it was right back to kind of that sandbox that wasn't very entertaining can get merch out there, this pig can. 
Yeah, but Josh is also much more tech savvy than the pig. Because I'm, I'm sure there's at least 10 sites that he can use that make the t-shirts for you and they just print them on demand. But somebody else needs to do all that research for him. He can't do it. That's, that's the problem. He's limiting himself so much by just completely declining having to do any kind of work. Because you got to remember, <clears throat> there's no way this is going to work. I essentially come from the Red Dead Redemption days. Do you remember the days of Red Dead Redemption 1 or Grand Theft Auto 4 online? Those were very different. That was like the Wild West. You could go around doing whatever you wanted, no boundaries. The physics were absolutely ridiculous and ragdoll, and you could do so many funny How things. How is it I different mean, than what it is Suicide now? Kings, where me and a bunch of people online tried to find hilarious ways to throw each other off of cliffs. Bro, really? Dynamite. Hilarious was... ways? He just goes off a cliff with his horse and dies, and then he laughs for like two minutes straight. It's hilarious. Come on, it's, most, it's the most lobotomized form of content you can think of. To watch. It's literally jumping off cliffs in a video game and laughing. Literally. That's his critically acclaimed series. Watch. GTA Online removed all of that. We like, have uh, Snow Yosef for 16 months asking why he can't see my ugly face. Because uh, I've taken it off. And if you would see it, you would see it in 720p anyway. So it doesn't matter. Literally removed it all. So there's no entertainment value in doing that. I deleted that kind of my stuff. face. So because of that. I'm having facial reconstruction really surgery. Like so I, I can look like Phil. Either. You know, I think I played it three times. So it launch, heists, and one other time down the road. And that was it. You know, a lot of people absolutely love GTA Online. It became a part of their online presence and culture, and it became this viral thing and made the billions of dollars for Rockstar. Good for you. I just was never part of that, so. But I'm glad to hear you still enjoy watching. Lest we forget, even if we were to use modern clips of Phil's toxicity, he would say that they are out of context and aren't legit. Yeah, literally, uh, always. That's why you don't argue with people like this. You don't debate with people like this. You just point and laugh and you step step on them. That's that's all you do. It's not there's no use trying to convince him stuff that he genuinely doesn't want to believe. There's no use trying to show him evidence that's always gonna be dismissed. You just fucking laugh at this guy because you, you realize he's beyond helping, so just fuck him and make him go fuck himself. Those early flop videos of how bad that thing was at launch. He had plenty bad. of chances. He gets a second chance every fucking day, and he's still a piece of shit on a regular basis. Every day. Thank you, Mozzie, for the super chat. Okay, I received my first tip of the day. $2 from an anonymous tipper. Oh, I that's positive. Thank you for the free content you create. I will always support <laughs> in a small or big way when I can't have a good one. You're welcome. Oh, that's definitely a small way. As good as I really boy. appreciate that. My content is as yeah. good as Philly Boy. Well, thank you, Snow Yosef. As long as it's meaningful to you, it's meaningful to me. The the day I show up here for a restream and there's literally no one here to watch is when I'll retire. So I'm here uh, always, I guess. Um, never going away. And that's the thing too. I want I've you sealed to my fate. Something. I want this content to be free. I don't want this content to be paywalled. I don't want this content to be hidden behind 400 ads. Did I tell you guys about the other night when I was on Twitch? Oh man. So the other night was the release night of Aki. And it Street was Fighter 2 a.m. by the way, keep in mind. And I wanted to see that night when she came out, some early tech. So I went on Twitch, cause that's where all the big FGC streamers stream for some reason. Don't ask me why, that's where they all wanna stream. So I go over there, all right? And I shit you not, I would click on a stream. Oh, it was 3.30? That's like three minutes. Immediately an ad break. And the ad break was, I'm not kidding. And he was also watching uh, Justin Wong, by the way. I, I think it's worth pointing that out. Because he's going to omit that detail. Um, I I in insist on having that detail stay. He was watching Justin Wong. You. Ten advertisements. Each ad running 30 seconds. So I watched one three minute match and then I had to watch three minutes of advertisements. Uh, yeah, I, I don't believe that. Stream. I don't believe then, that. Then after watching for about another 10 minutes, there was another three to five minute ad break. And this was not the streamer doing it because the streamer was fucking playing. The streamer had no control over it. This was Twitch running the ads. <clears throat> Can you imagine? How could you fucking watch a stream like that? I, I it, it drove me nuts. I was like, are you kidding me? I can't watch that crap. You know, that's terrible. And again, you can't blame the streamers. They're not even controlling it. It's Twitch doing it. That's what I mean. Like, 
I don't want my content to become constant nonsense. I want you to come here for the content. Because when you come here, you're having a good time. You feel like you're, you know, some social interaction with me. We're enjoying a game together. You get entertainment out of that. We have, it's, it's about meaning. Actually, getting something. It's about meaningful. About today. There we now, go. Oh, I went to the, the bottom stream, line is I was meaningful. To learn something about the game Phil's playing, but man, all I learned about was how you know they're selling these slippers on fucking Amazon, and uh, you know these new diapers for for my fucking baby, and you know, <laughs> like what the fuck? I can't even. Oh my god! More, Did you guys is... hear? Phil has a baby. He said he was getting diapers for his baby. You guys, breaking news. More ads than the... TV show. Ba -ba 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 I couldn't believe how much was running. I was like, what the fuck is going on over there? <clears throat> so I'm glad I'm going. Seriously, I am so glad. It's confirmed, you guys. Baby coin is dropping right now. Over there to run that much commercialization shit. Oh, dude, all the coins oh drop. I... Hold on, all the coins drop. We got the good luck Steve coin, which I'm buying a lot of. Uh, or maybe they're still in the process of dropping. Because I was waiting for all the coins to drop so I can buy low. Wait. This is very important, you guys. We're buying coins right now. What do we got? We got insolvency coin. We got pity coin. We got roommate on the down. And good luck Steve coin. Uh, I can't buy it. It's glitched right now, but it's going to get fixed later. I couldn't stand for that. I need to diversify so, my snored folio. Again, what I'm telling you guys is that basically here on YouTube, they're trying to go that way too. I know they are. They're trying to get YouTube to auto run ads. I'm going to resist as long as I can. As long as you guys keep supporting the streams the way you have, I don't have to go that route. That's crazy. I don't never want to. But they may change it for the worse, and you might have to. I don't know what else to say. If they change it and force feet, force my hand, and I can't control the ads, then there's nothing much I can do. But I will do as much as I can. You know, I feel that through the super chats you guys do and the, the, the paid memberships you guys are doing, YouTube's making money on me. You know what I mean? They're making money on my streams and videos, so they have no no place to really be complaining here. It'd be one thing if I was just streaming and there was no commercialization at all, you know, no monetization, and YouTube made nothing on me. They're making money on me every month, so I don't think they really have the right to be sitting here and complaining. <clears throat> Phil, I don't my content to be paywalled also, Phil. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can keep playing this game with such low support. Yep, that's what happens, and also, I don't know, guys. I... We have to make this React thing happen, because I get paid only on stream. I don't get monetized things and things. So yeah, that React channel, all that shit is behind a paywall. Because if you're not supporting during the streams, he's going to stop doing it. That is a good point. If you get YouTube... So someone just said, I have YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium is great. Even though, yes, it is a flat rate every month for it. Admittedly, it costs money. You will never see an ad on YouTube. You will never see an ad placement, a pop-up. Nothing will be shoved down your throat, and you can unlimitedly watch anyone you want without interruption. And like I said, I don't really take scheduled ad breaks. If I do, it'll be one break a day, and it's usually between, you know, my podcast and my gameplay or whatever it is. <clears throat> so I would 1 million percent say if you like YouTube content, get YouTube Premium. It is totally worth it to not have to watch the ads on here, okay? <clears throat> okay. Is that true? Someone says you can get Twitch Turbo, which is pretty much exactly the equivalent of YouTube Premium, to avoid all those ads. I can't imagine wanting to watch Twitch streams and not having that. I'm serious. Like, that's insane. I couldn't. It was unbearable. What I would started doing, um, I started I just have ad block. between three different people who were playing Street Fighter Six, watching a match, then it would run an ad. I would leave and go to the other one, watch one match, it would run an ad, and I would go to the other. I would started going all around. I couldn't even watch it for more than like five minutes. It was unbearable. <clears throat> Okay. All right, guys. So now what I'd like to do... Thank you for the co early contributions, by the way. The early contributions. Like, let's do some uh, open talk, some open discussion, some Q&A. Open Please discussion. Or are we going to do the like Halloween to thing? I, I mean, I, I don't mind not doing it. Season ...like we were doing yesterday. Uh, Jade, good to have you here. He says he just finished eating. What did he say? The podcast. Oh, we're not uh, we're yeah. not live right now, so I don't know. Would I do an interview he said with probably, Destiny? I hear, no, Phil. For two reasons. Number one, I don't like his interview style. His interview style is basically he kind of gets distracted and it's not his fault for what I'm to understand he actually has like a medical condition where it's hard for him to like just do one thing, which I didn't know at first. But like I've seen him interview other people and it's like he's trying to interview them. He's playing a game. I'm like, what, what are you doing? 
I'm going to have an interview. I want to have a real discussion with you. I want to have a back and forth one on one. I don't want to have you doing something else. And it seems um, like that's just he can't help it, right? Is that so, is that the no, real no reason? No to him in that regard, but that's just not my style. Is, is that the real reason, or it's actually an excuse? Because when Destiny was floating around the idea of doing an interview with Phil, he wanted to make it like a, a gotcha thing where they would. They would fly DSP out to a studio and then somebody would like play WWE champions or something. It's something like really out of touch with who DSP actually was. But Destiny didn't really have an intention on having a fair, fair shake interview with DSP. Probably wouldn't enjoy the interview. Number two, he already said he was going to set me up. He already started talking because remember last year he was talking about he wanted to interview me and when I told oh, is him the, I it, 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 is the snort exchange back up? Then we're he buying the Steve show. coin. Oh, I was going to try to set him up. We were going to do jokes yeah, about with the that. champions. There we go. I'm buying a right, lot so of no. Steve coin. I'm buying I'm uh, 150. I know, I know not to take him seriously because he was never serious. He's just an 150 asshole. Steve so, coins, you, you guys. You guys <laughs> love the Steve coin. And you guys love Steve even Joe more Rodriguez than says, what money. What characters we want in Street Fighter 6? I don't know. So because take it to the moon so we can sell it. We can make a lot of money. Same as they used to. Wow. Blanca plays nothing like he did in previous Street Fighter games. I like him in this game. But if you were to ask me if Blanca wasn't in it, and I said, would you like Blanca in the game? Yeah, but then he brought him back and we were like, oh, well, this Blanca doesn't play anything like him. So I really don't care. Honestly, I'm not one of these guys who's like focusing on that and think, oh, I want this character so bad. Eh, whoever they put in, they put in. The only thing is, no Street Fighter V characters. I'm serious about that too. I don't want Ed. Ed is already in this fucking season one. I don't give two fucks about Ed. No one cares about Ed, but they're putting him is in there for some fucking ads because he's worried they'll be more entertaining than his streams? Uh, potentially, yes. There's many ads that are more entertaining than his streams. I would even say as most much as ads. It hurts me to agree with the pig. Twitch is going crazy with ads. Almost unwatchable, and its unskippable ad block doesn't work. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just watch it with ad block whenever I watch it, which is pretty rarely, but still, I didn't really ever have a problem with it. Because I hate watching ads, so when an ad comes up, I, I'm just gone. Godforsaken reason. Street Fighter Five. I don't really know how they do it on Twitch. A shit smear. On this big, awesome tapestry of what Street Fighter is, here's a big diarrhea stain in the middle of it, right? We don't need to think about Street Fighter V. We don't need those characters back. Forget about them. Bring back other characters or invent new characters. Don't bring back the shitty ones. <clears throat> As I've said many times, we don't get trick-or-treaters because I live in a private community, so we don't have them here, no. <clears throat> What's up, Juan? What's up, uh... Who else was that? I scrolled off the screen. I missed it. How is the Steve coin doing? We need I've that Steve Mexican coin. Mexican candies. I've seen them. I've seen some of them in stores Have you ever punched here, uh, right? Mexican Those candy? Those chewy things? I yeah, look. We're going up. I we're going up by, one, by 364. The thing is, like... I like chocolate. We're so bowling right. That kind of like fruity candy or anything. Also, pity coin. Some of those I'm gonna before. buy some pity coin. I'm gonna buy like ten. Am I excited pity for coin? Street Fighter Six. Uh, no. Insolvent I'm really coin. For Akuma, so like the I, I'm not really sure no, about insolvent serious. coin. Let's like, let's keep them talking in the background here. But like this now we got the mainstream currencies like, that we have here on display are I'm divorce like, coin and health coin. Those will always be the the hypest and the highest price. Really but now with the creation of insolvent coin, pity coin, Do I know any and good luck Steve Spanish coin, which is a special one-time offer, is speaking it. Like I could see myself right diversifying right my portfolio right significantly. Right my snored folio, excuse me. And I can actually spin the wheel. Let's, let's spin the wheel. See what I get. See how many real real money i get 1651 there we go baller alert calling out baller alert got no problems with baller alert but everybody on baller alert there we go else? this is a massive baller alert segment i got the biggest award possible there we go and we come back to dead air and jasper what's Fantastic. my favorite kind of chocolate i don't have one that's i'm gonna buy so some more steve coin with this i love milk chocolate i'm gonna buy like dark chocolate. 100 chocolate that has 104 i'm gonna invest all my money in steve coin I love chocolate with That's what we do. We live on the edge here. I love chocolate here. with peanut butter. I love chocolate with pretzels. I love it all. The one thing I don't like that much is white chocolate. I don't dislike it, but I'm not crazy for it. White chocolate is way too sweet in my opinion. There but we go. Traditional chocolates I like more.
Can be cruel. I already spoke about beef jerky the other day, and I said beef jerky is pretty good. I prefer beef jerky that's a little bit more on the tender side, because I know there's jerky out there that can be really tough and chewy. I don't know why people like that. I like the jerky that's more on the the uh, ch tender, chewy, chewier side, um, and has like maybe a flavoring to it, like pepper jerky or like a teriyaki jerky. I like that, but I don't eat it that often. When making pasta, do you mix the pasta and sauce with the pasta water at the end? You do not mix pasta water with sauce. That is incorrect. That is not the proper way to make pasta. You no. actually do, though. No, you, you actually correct. do. Pretty much every recipe under the sun tells you to use a little bit of pasta water into your sauce while the pasta is boiling. You literally do that. And it's every... Okay, let's let's give it a shot. Um, so Let's do sp uh, spaghetti bolognese. The most generic one and click on this one jamie oliver shout out to jamie oliver shout out to this family and are we gonna find it another little tip if you, want you can keep oh, even gives water. tips you as well pasta water for um, other things but you never mix sauce with pasta water that is not the proper way to make sauce or uh, make pasta sorry you could add other things in it's easy it's quick and is very uniform so we're going to use two you want, why would you want to water down your sauce in? is the question right why are you watering down your sauce well when i make Come my on, own bro, sauce, that's not it i use real tomatoes okay and when i'm okay using this tomatoes, is this is literally an italian dude hi lovely people and i am in italy in piemonte I'm literally an italian pasta. dude let's see how he does it you gonna put some some pasta water <laughs> San Marzano tomatoes. I use some water to rinse out the cans to get all the chunks of tomato out of the can, and that's the water that adds to my sauce. But you're not like, why are you? Think of it this way: Why are you boiling pasta water? Like, you if you're making sauce, marinara sauce, you make that by itself. You're not making that with pasta. The pasta is something you do after, and you add the sauce to it. Why would you even have pasta water when you're making a pot of sauce? That just a little pan on top here, just a little bit. Inside the pan, okay. A little bit of a pasta water. There we go, the Italian dude. What does he do? He takes a little bit of a pasta water and he puts it in the fucking sauce. There you go. So you actually do that, Phil. Doesn't even make sense. My dear Italian Unless fellow. Unless you're saying something My different, fellow I'm Italian. you. <clears throat> Anyway, I got a tip here. Oh, we got a tip here. I got a dollar fifty tip. Someone says, I think there is a way to balance placement and content. Might be the creators I watch. Oh I don't God. mind a two-minute ad in an hour-long video. If it means the person doesn't have to worry about being screwed over by YouTube. Oh, yeah, there, that's like everything. Moderation is balance, correct? There is definitely a Remember moderate... an hour ago when he said there wasn't much to talk about. Yay, me neither. Debunked. Well, I also told you, I, I told you he's going to fill the whole hour and a half because he has to. to he feels like it's a part of his schedule, so he must fill it up. Advertisement properly. Like, I'll be honest, I think that there are some content creators out there that do it the right way. You know, if your style of content is every time you put out a video, it's a giant video that's two, three hours long. It's a giant documentary and you put a product so secret limited? there, that's not a big deal. Secret right? limited? But if every video you fucking put out is 20 minutes long and every video has a product placement, that's a little excessive, don't you think? Right? Or if you're running a live stream and you run one ad an hour versus someone who has an ad placement five times an hour and each ad placement is three straight minutes, you see, it's all about moderation. And the problem is right now, there doesn't seem to be moderation. What all these sites want to do is automate it so you don't even think about it and they're just constantly running ads on your stuff. Now, that might work if you're big enough. You know what I'm saying? If you're a giant creator and there's just this feeling of, oh, I'm so special because I'm on some big streamer stream, then maybe you don't care about the fact that your audience is bombarded with your ads, right? But someone who's small time, someone who actually wants to resonate with their audience and make meaningful content would probably be concerned that they're being bombarded with so much crap. I definitely am. I don't want you guys having that much crap. <clears throat> okay. Okay, King Bee Cruel's good. thoughts on Olive Garden? Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. What's going on, Captain DCW? Oh, man. We're like 15 minutes behind, and he's still talking. Mark gets, gets YouTube Premium and really enjoys the service. I'm glad to hear that. 
Oh wow, you should promote yeah, so YouTube Premium some more. I love it. They have two kinds. They have a standard sauce that's more like a mayonnaise that has a spicy kick to it, tanginess, and then they have a Polynesian sauce. I think both of those sauces are great. I had to bought them and eat my sandwiches at home. I think they're superb. There you go. Lee Christmas says, what was my go-to movie candy? Mine was Bunch of Crunch, which is a crunch bar in a ball form. I know all about Bunch of Crunch. It's delicious. Uh, let's see. When I was younger, I really liked M&M's, Reese's Pieces, or Raisinets. Then as I got older, I started liking Jumimits, or I liked Bunch of Crunch. That was one of my choices as well. And we're talking about candy right now. Yeah, he said that they had Polynesian sauce. I mean, sure. <laughs> Can be cruel. I literally just said that. He said, did you know you could buy Chick-fil-A sauce at the store? I literally just said I did that. Okay. So don't respond to his fucking message then, you dumb piece of shit. Captain DCW said, if you had a, a chance to do another run of any Assassin's Creed game, which one would you choose to play? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um... Obviously, I would want to do one of the more classic ones that I probably only played once ever. I guess the question is, what one would it be? You know, when I think of the original Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy, I remember, I liked the first one, but I thought that Brotherhood, <clears throat> the one where you actually recruited your own, like, guild of assassins, <clears throat> was better. Not plot-wise, but I thought the gameplay elements were much improved and better, and I liked the whole recruiting idea and how you could, like, roll that out and have a mini game going on of the recruits and stuff. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, so it's funny because obviously the plot of 2 is everyone's favorite. But then Brotherhood I thought improved upon certain elements a lot more. But a lot of people don't give that game as much credit. Um, I probably would play the whole 2 trilogy honestly. That would be probably what I would want to go back and play again. Because I haven't played them since they were new games. Good morning No Sleep Real Vibes. Uh, I just got a $2 tip. From Big Bikini Burnell. He says, wow. I'm not on YouTube Premium. My patience reached a boiling point. I was getting four ads before watching anyone's videos. I have a video game music playlist of 900 songs downloaded on my phone. I can now listen to that while I drive. Well, there's exactly. uh, free That's, alternatives. That is one of the cool features of YouTube Premium. You can get ad locks or rebands. of videos or music, and you can pre-download it and have it stored on your mobile device. And if you have a terrible internet connection for some reason, you could still listen. So you could actually have stuff saved up, but if your power goes out, or your internet goes out, you could sit there for hours still watching or listening to something instead of sitting in the dark, which is really neat. Uh, I know a lot of people, they have work, they go to work and they have bad connection there, or, you know, they're probably told, can't use work internet for, you know, uh, personal shit. So then you, you get, that's what YouTube Premium's for. And it's really well, really well done, really well implemented that way. <clears throat> no, we have never just ju Jasper up for Halloween. I've explained this many times. Early on when we first had Jasper, we gave him a Christmas collar, which was one of those, it looked like a collar of a shirt, you know, like this, right? Like this, but it, it was like Christmas themed. Had like this segment is getting fast forward, and I'm sorry, guys. I can't, I can't sit through more of these cat lady segments. They're so pathetic. <laughs> I really like Black Dragon. I'm really enjoying that game. Radical Jaws says, it's a hot day again. I'm sweating here. It gets cool on Thursday, but tomorrow's supposed to be 86 in the last day. And then we got a weatherman segment. So we're supposed to be getting a heat wave, and it doesn't make any sense. Why would it be that hot in October? You know, here in all places. Because, uh, climate change. Hold on. Or something like that. Maybe the weather didn't send enough contributions. Okay. This is... Dude. I've sped this up to 4.6 times the speed, and it's all dead air. And he's just looking at his phone. What? This is like, what, a good 30 seconds of just... 40, 50 seconds of a good minute of just him looking at his phone. So we're supposed to be getting a heat wave, and it doesn't make any sense. Why would it be that hot? Are you serious? October, you know, here in... in of all places. And he's already looking at his phone while he's talking about the weather because he's super distracted. His brain is on complete just cruise control. Uh, this autopilot. And he's just on his phone. This is a podcast, Phil. Wake up. <clears throat> I have no idea what I was talking about. And then we get this. That's why he's the goat! <laughs> I got, oh, I was talking about the weather. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be warmer this weekend for no good reason. And the thing is, I don't have the air conditioner anymore. Two weeks ago. So I can't explain this weekend. Hopefully you're wrong. 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 You're wr
Do I have his favorite Steven Spielberg movie? I mean, he's done a million. He's done a million movies. Probably Jurassic Park. I don't know. He's done too many. Oh, I never played Assassin's Creed Rogue. That was the one that I skipped. If you remember, every single year back in the day, Ubisoft was coming out with an Assassin's Creed game. Every year. It was annual. All right? And what was happening was the quality of the games Ubisoft. kept degrading every year, but they kept pumping out one anyway. <clears throat> oh... Then with the launch of the PS4, it would be cooler if it was called Boobiesoft, and, and they just like, had boobies what? in all their games. So they were going to yeah. do Assassin's Creed. Uh, you you was guys love it, and that was going to be a PS4 exclusive. But then they were going to have Assassin's Creed Rogue, and that was going to be for the last gen that was now outdated. Come to find out, I bought Liberation because that was the new one everyone wanted to see. It was a piece of shit, not per se the game itself, but it ran awfully on the PS4. Had tons of issues, bugs. It was just a not a good game. Assassin's Creed Rogue was a much better game that no one played because it came out on the gen before and no one cared about it. So, over the years, they sold and resold it, they repackaged it, they HD upgraded it, but I never played it. So maybe one day I would play it, but I have not gotten around to it. <clears throat> no, I have not seen Glengarry Glen Ross. Have I seen everyone's suggestions for a Halloween video game? I'm approving all of them. Any any post you see on those threads, I've already looked at and approved. Uh, it looks like there's a ton of variety being suggested. Like, a ridiculous amount. I think the game that's most suggested right now is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm not surprised. It's a Game Pass game. It's a game that came out last month, and a lot of people were interested in seeing me try, and I didn't do it. So it kind of makes sense that I would do try that for Halloween, and likely that one will end up making it in there. Um, outside of that... It looks like the nominations are all over the place. So I couldn't even tell you what looks like it'll end up getting played uh, during that event at this point. But we're early in. It's one day. Remember, guys, the nominations are open. Right now, in the chat, you can type exclamation point Halloween, and the command will come up. Has the command been coming up automatically? It's supposed to come up about every 15 minutes in the chat. Oh, I'm supposed to uh, skip so every uh, one second. Know, probably another week and a half. Three days. Three, so it's not liberation. Which one? Not liberation. So I got the names wrong. It happened. It's actually way more entertaining when you skip and you listen to a single word that he says and then you skip again because you get to make your own sentences. I'm human and I have a bad memory. And he's I'm a old. human, he has I a bad memory. And he stinks and he's old. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to say that last one. Sorry about that. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure he stinks. I mean, this is the same guy who picks his ear and then wipes it off on his clothes. I'm pretty sure he stinks. I think it's a safe bet. And uh, speaking of safe bets, let's look at a stock exchange here. Man, Steve Coin has rocketed to the moon. I would make a billion trillion dollars if I sell right now. Look at this. Steve Coin is absolutely destroying the charts. Look at this. It's just high. <laughs> high in the sky right now. What would you guys like to talk about? Come on, man. Tag Come on, me man. Tag me. Please. Ask me what my favorite food from Five Guys is. So I can tell you I don't know if they have cool fries. Halloween or horror related. Yesterday we were having some good conversations about stuff. <clears throat> Syndicate was good. I liked Syndicate. A lot of people said they, 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 I don't know. I feel like they didn't give Syndicate the credit it deserved. I thought Syndicate was a fine game. But at that point, they would put out so many annual games of Assassin's Creed that no one really cared anymore. So the, the sales numbers had kept dipping every year. <clears throat> Did Chucky over have his own game? I have no idea. I've never played a child's play game. Out of all the states, why did I choose Seattle? Well, Seattle is not a state. <laughs> Owned, you it's fucking a, it's idiot. A, it's a city. Get destroyed. In the state of Washington. Wow. I chose Washington for many reasons. Number taxes. one, the moderate climate. Number, Number one, taxes. Let's stop bullshitting. Taxes. Two, because they don't have a state income tax. There we go. Number three, <clears throat> because my aunt had lived out here many, many years of her life and had always spoken very favorably about living out here, while a lot of people had always talked negatively about being out here. She said it was actually quite the opposite, that it was a misconception, that living out here was very positive for many different reasons. Personally, everything kind of clicked when I started looking for houses. Really? You know, I was able to, to move into a place in a private community, which is very important to me. You know, really? My family safety, especially oh, the, the dude. harassment that we get to be safe. Come like on, this dude. Nice. Does oh. he really think somebody's gonna show up to him in real life? And does he think you can't do that in a gated community? If somebody really decided to fuck with them, they will. Um, they they yeah. will find a way. <clears throat> the fact that out here, 
This is basically some of the newest infrastructure in the entire United States, meaning Washington was one of the later states to be founded and developed. So that means a lot of the stuff out here is not outdated. You know, I can drive on a road and it doesn't go like this in my car. In Connecticut, it is. In Connecticut, where I came from, one of the earliest states, everything's destroyed. All the infrastructure is old, outdated. The roads are falling apart. Everything sucks ass. Out here, everything relatively feels new. Out here... It's actually way less crowded than where I came from. I came from a state that was everywhere I went, any direction, insane amounts of people. You want to drive through town, it's going to take you a half an hour to get three blocks. Here, I can actually go out and everything is within arm's reach. I can drive 10 minutes in one direction and I can see farmlands. I could drive 10 minutes in another direction and I'm heading towards a major metropolitan city. Anything, you know, shopping. <clears throat> really? Healthcare. Anything you can't do that anywhere else reach. in a major metropolitan stuff, area. Beautiful scenery, nice, uh, you know, foliage. Shout out, out here. to Seattle. Mm -hmm. The flora is it's beautiful. awesome, and the flora is great. It's just a really nice place to be. So many as woodland as critters. Put up with some of the annoyances, the high crime rates, the incredibly left-leaning liberal po politics out here. You know, and not to say that I'm anti-left. I'm just not extreme left like some of the people out here that are crazy extreme left and that's why we have so much crime you know it's, it's it needs to backpedal really immediately there's a, there's a trade hey, don't get me right? wrong you guys i'm not against them really i'm just against what plan. they do but out of the places that i was looking to move this was the best you know i've looked at a few other places and they either had really bad weather that i didn't want to deal with or other various reasons and that's why i ended up here so <clears throat> There is no poll for a Halloween costume this year. My wife and I are just going to pick it ourselves. Uh, this will actually help us a lot more to do it because previously there'd be poll on poll to determine it. And by the time that the poll was usually done to pick the category, we go to the store and half the ideas we had, they'd all be sold out. So what we're going to do is within the next one to two weeks, probably not this week, but probably next week, we're going to go and we're just going to buy a costume that we see at the store relatively early on in October. So that way everything's not sold out already. So there you go. <laughs> King B. Cruel says, are you still interested in the present time story of Assassin's Creed? Uh, Valhalla no. Valhalla ended with Desmond and Layla representing Adam and Eve looking for a way to save the planet. Do you think anyone has any idea what the fuck that is? I have no idea, too. And I like Assassin's I get, Creed. Because the thing is, doesn't that story only take place in the DLCs? How many fucking people bought the DLC? I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't Pretty buy good. the DLCs. Why not? I don't know anything about that. There's two huge expansion packs and one that is just like a fictional Valhalla th thing. That's I, I didn't buy that. I hate the fictional stuff. I hate the sci-fi stuff. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So Desmond is still alive. Sure. Sure he is. Right? Well, I don't think anyone gives two shits about that, quite frankly. I think they, ruined, they really ruined their own plot lines by overjacking, drawing out way too long and seeing off the game and hiding my deals No one knows about that. I know about that. Uh, I don't know anything about Elon Musk being a gamer, nor do I give a fuck about Elon Musk. You don't give a fuck? Why are you reporting on his girlfriend then? A couple of days ago on the on the DSP news. Starting off, you guys, Elon Musk's girlfriend is looking for custody of his kids or something like that. Now we don't give a fuck. Unless it's time to, to monetize well, him again. Undertale for Switch when in Japan, what is the game like? Why would you do that? Undertale is not a Japanese game. And that is really confusing. Why did you buy, why did you choose to buy that game in Japan? What a weird game to buy when you're in Japan, Undertale, right? But like I went to uh, Germany, you know, to see the sights and I bought Halo. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, no, Undertale is a fine game, especially if you like classic uh, JRPGs, turn-based stuff. It's got really kicking music. It's got an interesting plot. It's got some very unique mechanics. Bro, I actually really he is still it. going like 12 minutes from now. What the fuck? <clears throat> Yeah, we're pushing on an hour and 25 minutes at this point. This is such a slog. Whatever, and I guess she was supposed to be, uh... Yeah, we don't care about this. This is worthless DSP context adding segment. It needs to add the context. That 50% of the people who bought Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla bought the DLCs. 
So if less than half of your player base knows the story, why are you doing it? Why are you hiding it like that? Put the story in the fucking main game. Stop hiding the story elements behind DLCs. I remember when I started Valhalla. You're like, oh yeah, so at the end of Odyssey in the DLC, she got this big staff and she murdered this one person and did that. And I was like, what? When the fuck did that happen? It's stupid. What are you talking about? So that's what happened. Oh, yeah, you know, they're not even going to fucking talk about this. If you, care, if you care more about just what the main core elements of the game is, okay. the, the time period of the story of the yeah, game. Yeah, but the main story of Eivor ends uh, to some extent in the main plot line of the game. Rather than caring about this backstory, I don't think the backstory matters. But I mean, the plot of all those games is not very anyway, solid anyways. I received a $20 tip. Oh, yes. Tastes good. From One Minute Man, thank you to oh, One what? Minute Man what? very much for the tip. Way too early, that. dude. You're and, inflating uh, the coin prices. Speaking of which. Big contribution, obviously. Oh, wow. Steve Coin has, has nice gone to the moon, dude. Minute Imagine Minute if I sell it now. Oh, How much really, money am I going to make? I'm going to make 14000 the not gonna sell though. We're holding it. Like I said, I wonder if we'll even see it this month. We're holding that that it's Steve not coin. Very often that I receive a hundred dollar tip. It's very rare, quite frankly. So maybe we'll end up seeing that animation like once this month. It's really good though. Like I really love that animation. So I guess we'll see but if we ever you find can, it. You oh. can you can always just show us the animation though. It's not like a secret thing that the the laws of the universe are not allowing you to show us. You can actually just show us what people are gonna be paying for. What if it's a really stupid animation? Or ever see it. Thank you, One Minute Man. <clears throat> and then... I got a $5 tip. Because I think for, for $100, you should get like a full screen animation. You should get some different kind of a, a, a thing. Some different kind of treatment. If you're going to be marketing it like that. If the animations are so interesting. Because all you get to see is a small little rectangle in the bottom right corner of a stream. That says some guy just contributed so and so, and there's the animation. It's not. It's not worth hyping up. It's not that special. Agree. Uh, I have no plans to do any meet and greet anytime soon. Quite frankly, uh, I'm busy with my life and with streaming. And also, nobody would show up, but uh, only iced coffee. In person, that would be very I uncomfortable. Think, it's not like I'm gonna go to some convention. And I'm gonna be holding a panel, and I'm gonna be selling merch, and I'm gonna be pro, you know, promoting content. You know well, what I'm you're saying? Not that like, popular. No, there was back in the day when I went to conventions and things. The whole idea was that I was going to promote my content, whether it was my gameplay, whether it was Project Seven. I was going to get my name out there. I had a booth where I would throw, hold, I hand out business cards. I had a laptop running, showing the content that we had made, and people would be like, "Oh, what's that?" And they give it a look. Right? Uh, I'd have a panel where people would show up and want to talk with me. Uh, I don't, that would never happen today. No one would would care about a panel. No one would, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, this is 10 years later. I'm small potatoes now. And I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with being a small time YouTuber, okay? Um, I don't see myself meeting and greeting with anyone, honestly. I think it's, it's, it would be <laughs> a lot of hassle because you'd probably have assholes who show up just to try to cause problems for no good fucking Like, reason. what problems? They're gonna they're assault you and then you're gonna call the cop? Scumbags. They're losers with no lives and they have what? better to do. But what? Uh, like, he's acting like it already happened. He's talking about, like, hypotheticals and then just shitting on people because of that. Everyone who genuinely... Just like when he uh, allegedly w would have a kid, you know? So he's not having a kid because of the trolls because they would troll the kid. Like, what? Go up and try to just be some straw manning. Be harassed by a bunch of scumbags. So what's the point of that? Right? So, I don't know. Maybe one day, I don't foresee it anytime soon. Style did a super chat and says, if Death Counter is in game, are the devs more ons? Yes, more ons. More ons. Yeah, he said this, so in case you have a blacklisted word, it, it would show up. You know, you know what he means, dude. You know what he means. Two words, the word more and then the word on. Yes, he made this to bypass the filter. Just like when Sundar doesn't read anything because it has the 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 letters A S S in it, so the whole word is blacklisted. Why do you have to like react to that one? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Spawn Killer did a super chat. He says, "We would you play Fable two or three? Uh, maybe someday. I've only played them each once. Uh, Fable two was one of my earliest playthroughs. I actually had told you guys that if you were interested, I would have played Fable two over the summer for my fifteen year anniversary." 
But uh, no one, I mean, a few people were interested, but there didn't seem to be that much interest. People were very, way more interested in, in GTA V again. Which was pre pretty fun to play, and I'm glad that I actually saw the endings that I had never seen before. Those were kind of nice <clears throat> to see. They weren't nice endings, but it was nice to see the endings. I know they're making a new Fable. I'm aware of that. We haven't seen anything about it yet, but I, they have announced that they're making it and everything, so. Would I do a Halloween costume contest on my channel? I don't know what that means, Felix the Maid. How on earth would I do that? If you have an idea, please let me know. Can be cruel to Desmond, descendant of Adam, is alive as a data person. His consciousness exists and has been looking for a way to save the world. Oh, that's right. He got scanned to be like a, a basically an AI, right? And he's an AI inside of some fucking animus shit. Uh, or I think you are. Yeah. So I'm going to fast forward this one. One million percent. I owned that game on GameCube back in the day. I played like 10 hours ago. I bought that game back Layla, the descendant of Eve, is the key. I said at the end of Assassin's Creed 2 to help Desmond save the world. Desmond Bro. Like, he, he told everybody he doesn't give a fuck, and they still keep talking about Assassin's Creed. Uh, you know, job and or practice to really make those kind of distinctions. I'm sorry. <clears throat> is he done with this? Oh, yeah, he's done with this. Like, four minutes from now. Or more like ten. Jay says, I ready lop? What does that mean, Jay? I, I ready lop? Lies of P, dumbass. I ready lap? What are you trying to say, Jay? Lap? What is lap? Is it like bog? People submit their costume over email. You would read it on your marathon. Whoever gets, gets, whoever wins gets a free channel shout out. No. I can't just be accepting random files and shit willy nilly like that. Sorry. Really? Too much an actual image? You can't accept an image because they're going to be a virus inside. They're going to film you while you're sleeping or some shit. What the fuck are you talking about, DSP? What has happened to you, dude? What did they do to you behind the scenes? What what did they do? Where where did the trolls touch you? Show me on this little tiny doll of a pig roach where the trolls touched you. Reliability. Good to have you here, Cracker Jacks. How are you today? Fantastic. Can I play Forza. I am playing Forza. I've already announced it. It's cracking as I'm always. Forza Motorsport. It's on. It's actually preloaded on my Xbox. Wow. I'm gonna try it. If it sucks or I don't like it, I'm not gonna keep playing it. But I'm gonna at least give it a shot and see what it is when it comes out. I want at least, you know, I feel like it's a Game Pass game. It's gonna have a little bit of hype behind it. I don't know much about it, but it's a Game Pass game. I don't have to buy it, so I might as well just do it and try it. And if I don't like it, it's boring, I don't want to play it again. That's okay. But I'm gonna try it. He's gonna try Forza. Breaking news. Oh, he's ready for Lies of P. L O P. Lock. Got it. You guys know better than me. It's funny. You guys figured it out, and I didn't even figure it out. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> so what? Lies of P. Me too. How was that funny, dude? So far, excuse me. Chapter nine so far has been really good. And, uh, you know, this game, again, it, this game has not slowed down. The game has stayed at a solid, entertaining, challenging pace the entirety of the game. And it hasn't disappointed, so I'm really uh, enjoying it. <laughs> So I say give it a shot, at least once boot it, play it, and if it's great, keep playing it, and if it sucks, don't play it, it's fine, right? It's a little round of GT and arcade racers, kind of a... a, a Bro. Okay. This, like, towards the end of the Q&A is just such a slog. So boring. Now it's just dead air, this is it! This is it! This is a normal speed. No, I do not watch football. <laughs> then somebody asked him, hey, Phil, you watch football? No, I did not watch football. And then we just continue to stare blankly at Chad. He has nothing to say about anything or add anything to the conversation while he is waiting for people to ask him questions. It's literally like he's in a, in a press conference or something, and he's waiting for journalists to ask him questions. That's what he thinks of himself. He doesn't bother to, to engage those people that are asking him questions. Have a little bit of back and forth. Hey, you guys, like, I know, you know, Assassin's Creed, the story, the modern day story sucks, but you guys like some Assassin's Creed? Let me know which Assassin's Creed you guys like. Oh, what I read, Armored Core 6. Wh which one has the best story? From one which to one ten? has the man, best I gameplay? Know. I don't know how to, how do you read? Uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. The game, when it's the only st a game in that style of game you've ever played, that's a tough call. Because I really have no frame of reference to compare it to others. Like, are there other games out there that are prominent? And now he's like, acting oh, like he's a fucking scientist. Worse than that. It's literally the only one I've ever played. I can tell you this. God I really liked it. it. I thought it was a fine game. The story hey, did was Steve Coin blow up? <clears throat> the gameplay elements were sound. The Hold on. upgrading of the mech was fun. The graphics were quite good. Oh, the yeah. Steve Coin is like, balling. Really don't have any complaints about the game. Maybe... Obviously, I'm not going to sell now because I'm not going to be an asshole. Because I bought a lot of it. So we're gonna be holding. One or we're two, gonna be holding. But but Steve Coin is super positive right now. Super positive. Look at this. Look at this curve. We love it. 
it was a pretty darn good game in my opinion. Because I'm not going to be taking away the positivity from Steve Coin. We need to keep the, the positive energy for Steve so everything goes well with him. So it's not going to sell that positive energy it was, for you know, fake money. Major problems. The problem really is I, have, I can't compare it to anything else to fairly judge it. And I do feel like I'd be doing it a disservice. Right? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Talk about something else. Let me, let me talk, talk this about my wife. Um, I feel that it may make my top 10 games of the year, but we'll see. What? Lies of Peace? Oh, the, the story was good, named five characters. I don't know their names. I can tell you there was the woman who was uh, Carla, who was the, the head of the, the rebels or the, the mercenary group. There was your handler, whose name I forgot, but he was the one who always told you the different jobs to do. There was the ethereal force of the regime. And we're talking about video games, so this is probably my favorite game of all time. Wow, yeah, I, don't worry. I would say there's definitely going to be uh, a sequel. I can't imagine why they would not be making a sequel. The first one did so well. Um, but you know what? They're probably going to take their time with it. They're not going to rush it out, right? They're probably going to make it a well-designed well game, so it's probably years out. Okay. Oh, yeah, Mech Warrior. Dude, we get... Mech Warrior. Oh, no, we got, like, two more minutes, and then I'm clocking out, because this shit killed me. This Q&A just Can ruined Can you ever had a game save corrupt and it ruined a playthrough? I don't know. You guys would answer that better than me. Certainly not often. In the 15 years I've been a YouTuber, I couldn't even name maybe a singular time that stands out, but I'm sure it's happened at some point. That was common in the PS2 era, was it really? Ugh. Hey, and Pity Coin has gone up. Can I buy some Pity Coin? I oh no, I got literally like six dollars. I cannot wait for this weekend. I can't buy anything. Next year. And I'm not selling my Steve Coin. Next year, I'm fine. I'm not selling my Health Coin as well. I feel like that's gonna go up. Games like super duper good, and I cannot wait to play them with better graphics and music and everything. It's gonna be very fun. No, I never played Cool Spot for the Genesis. Well, for dinner, I don't know. My wife makes dinner. I don't even know. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Take that team divorce. My wife makes dinner. Sell that no, divorce shit. Reinvest it in Steve Coin. If you want to go to the moon, make some quick and easy cash. Spread the super positive vibes to Steve for his surgery. And you can also contribute to, to Health Coin and make it go back up so I can make my money back. Okay? Sound good, you guys. Super positive. It's cool spot for the Genesis. What's for dinner? I don't know. My wife makes dinner. There we go. I don't even know what she's making today. I think we have options. I think today we can either do a... a oh, they have soup, options. Or we can do like a pasta salad with maybe some hot dogs or something. I don't even know what she's making. A, pa a pasta salad with hot dogs? <clears throat> I mean, okay. That's it's fine by I me. I reviewed Halloween 2018, and you can see that review on my React channel, DSP Reacts. I recommend you go check it out if you want my opinion on that. No, it's so terrible. That's not his opinion on it. It's just a synopsis of the movie. In BS2, I had my save corrupt and lost about an hour of progress. What is BS2? Um, BS? Ball sack. Like bullshit too? <laughs> you know what I mean? Bioshock 2? No, the save did not corrupt. That is that is incorrect. That game did not autosave properly. It was supposed to be autosaving more often than it didn't. And I played for an hour froze. Oh, well, he lost his save. And it was really tragic. Jern? And uh, it's time to adjourn. Yes, I want to say thank you. Yes, all. <clears throat> yes, me. thank you all as it. usual for the chill, fun, and the interactive nature of the show. <laughs> uh, on days like today, when there's not it's a all lot just to talk buzzwords, about, dude, I enjoy having open discussion with you. And we may have more shows like this moving forward this week, quite frankly, because I don't foresee there being a lot of major news until like later on this week. Hey, mouth drooler, people have to eat. He probably gets the scraps. Also, it's an artistic making food. I'd rather eat a Cobra invention that eat that ginormous whale's food. Uh, no, look, look. Cobra's food is ungodly. It, it should be banned in every country, and it should only be used for torturing prisoners of war, okay? You, you cannot try and make a case that you would rather eat Cobra's food. King Cobra's bog burrito, the bug burrito then eat something that cat made or dsp made i know both of them is a huge health risk but if i had to have my pick i would pick the gout man's food because he got gout so at least he he knows what what food tastes good and the other dude is just crazy we're not touching that so i'm open not to even entertaining the possibility of eating king king cobra jfs food Again, thank you all for relaxing and chilling and having a so good time. So you're getting debunked. The fall gaming season is here. We're enjoying all these new releases. I hope you are enjoying them as, as much as I am. 
And, uh, can't wait. But in the meantime, happy Halloween. Oh, man. I forgot about this. This is what he used to do, the jump scare. And that's a Halloween thing. Oh, I forgot how much it annoyed me when he did it. It's fucking... It's just so fucking stupid, man. Please help. Uh, I'm gonna set up the forward... The forward to some other channel. And I'm gonna play a song and then I'm gonna be out. Because this dude is trash. I, I can't handle any more of so, this. So, let's get set up. I actually do need to take a break. Of course he does. Of course he I does. I use the restroom. Before I, I jump How many times you gotta piss, bro? Pain. Come on. <clears throat> hey, okay. we got Ann Lita's live. I'm gonna throw you out there. Uh, so this is the last song. Or actually, the, the outro. This is Coming For You Remix with uh, Dale the Stallion. And also remastered, and I changed some of the mixing. And now I like it more. So listen to it. Make sure to buy all the Steve coin. And that's it. Thanks, everybody. See you guys next time. Uh, sorry for 720p, but also not sorry. Nothing I could do. That's how life is. Clip this one, bitches. Clip this one, bitches. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. You are fucked. And you are done. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Sound good? Coming for you. Talk about boys, so I'm looking. Please talk about punk ass I'm looking. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys from the bottom. 30, 40, 50 ass busters. Ain't no clap back videos. Why? What is it that serious? But I need boys. Please, the creator. Bless me, but I need boys. Please allow my boy sperms to go fast. And shoot fast enough, go fast enough. Please, please, the creator, please bless me. Suck a dog off. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Blood shit and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. They all so dumb. 30, 40, 50, punk ass bitch. I'm the one. You are dumb. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. 30, 40, 50, punk ass. Coming for you. Coming for you. There may be some gunfire. 